Okay, the people are moving north. The people are moving towards traffic. People are throwing shit at the cops. People are throwing shit at the police. Fuck. I hope these fucking kids stop throwing shit at the police. This is not a fucking, we're not out here to be doing that shit. We're out here to protest. The energy is growing here. Our streets! Our streets! Our streets! Our streets! Our streets! They're gearing up! Okay, they're gearing up. The police are gearing up. Where are they? They're right there, dude. Look at them with the mask on, man. Okay, just to say, guys, I have to readdress my, my mask. So yesterday they came from this area over here. I'm not seeing any of them coming from that area yet. Falling a little behind right now, right now guys. I believe this is in Sacramento, I could be wrong. Okay, here we go. Be cool, don't panic! Don't panic! No, stop throwing shit! Stop throwing shit! Uh, people are throwing shit. Okay, cops are gearing up for smoke gas. Tear gas is out. Stop throwing shit! God damn it. Okay, tear gas is out. People are throwing fireworks. People are throwing fireworks at the police. Oh, I gotta move, I'm getting gassed out. Oh. 
Look at this. Uh, Look at what this so called democracy has brought us. Uh. No. No. This way. Okay, so what just happened, people? The people started throwing shit at them. Thank you. And then the cops <coughs> decided to gas the crowd. So what you're seeing no, right now is tons of tear gas. Car revving. People are still throwing shit at the cops. I gotta go help this lady. This is how the police in this country act. They take our First Amendment right away from us by force. They act like they are a military. They are a group of thugs. Are you okay? I am tired of living in this country under a boot. We are all tired of it. While I don't wish harm to the police, I want them to see the error of their ways. I am not afraid to speak truth to power. Should we go? People Which are way? getting hurt hard by this gas. This way? All right. Watch down this side as we go. All right. Hey, can you spray me? Water and three teaspoons of baking soda. Oh, thank you. It works better than milk. Oh, this lady's out here helping people. Is it down here? Is that tear gas? Is that tear gas? Uh, we're okay. The crowd. We can always go down a couple blocks if we need to. Oh my God, this poor guy. <laughs> Do you need water? Okay. Does anyone need water? Does anyone need to rinse their eyes out? Oh. I'm okay. Let's go this way. Come on. Oh my God. Oh my God, you can actually feel the tear gas, guys. I'm not kidding, we are like a block away from where they tear gas and my eyes are already watering up. This is fucking ridiculous. Trent, let's go! Uh, are you okay, Trent. Just go light on it. Do you need water? Are you good? Sorry, man. Stay safe out here, bro. Do you need water? Do you need water? Do you want to sit down? This guy just gave me some milk in my face. Sit down, yes. A whole lot better. Tilt your head back, quick. Stuff works magic. I'm sorry. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Can you wet my mask? Yeah. You want water or milk? Just water in the mask. Yeah, I got you, guys. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. So, protesters, just help me out. Don't worry, guys. I'm okay. And wet my mask. Okay, more tear gas coming out. I'm gonna try to get a good shot of it. Lots of tear gas coming out. Throw it back! People are throwing back the tear gas. <laughs> Yo, what up, baby? Be safe, dude. Tons of medical supplies. Oh, good. Grandma, I hope you're watching because yeah, for all the times you've thought that the police were okay and that we should li listen to and respect authority, you're wrong. People are throwing the tear gas back at the... I'm going to move up and get a better shot. You say it, please. Holy Water's shit. Fine. Oh, Ooh. fuck. Did yeah. I actually get help? Okay, here we go. They're not playing nice. This is the Portland police. This is not okay. 
Police will begin efforts to disperse the crowd. If you do not leave now, you may be subject to uses of force, including riot control agents and impact munitions. Leave now. Okay, they're threatening to shoot us now. This is the Portland Police Bureau. This has been declared an unlawful assembly. Police will begin This is not unlawful. We are... If you do not leave now, you may be subject to uses of force, I including riot you. control agents and impact munitions. Leave now. Here come the boys. Okay, so they just gassed us. They're gonna start shooting us soon. This is the Portland Police Bureau. This has been declared an unlawful and impact munitions. Leave now. If you do not leave now, we may be subject to force. Oh, Jack Rowe! Impact munitions. This is the Portland Police Bureau. This has been declared an unlawful assembly. Police will begin efforts to disperse the crowd. If you do not leave now, you may be subject to uses of force, including riot control agents okay, and impact munitions. Bro, get your dog out here! Now. Fuck you! You good? You good? Cool. Are you looking at me, Rico? Fuck you! Fuck you! Okay, the cops are pointing. How, no how fucking dare you? No peace! No peace! No peace! How Me too, I'm looking at the guy because he has a dog out here! Ted Wheeler, I will spend every cent and ounce of energy I have to make sure you are not going to be thrown alive. This is too much. I will use my privilege to speak truth to power. Baking soda and water, one cup water, three teaspoons baking soda, neutralizes tear gas. Lots of stuff getting thrown at police right now. Stop blowing shit! Fuck her! Please stop calling me. Please stop calling me. Every time somebody calls me, it interrupts the broadcast. So please do not call me right now. Message me. If you do not leave now, you may be subject to the police. Okay, people are 
asking for Josh donations Blood! if they can donate to me. Josh uh, Blood! My cash app Josh is called Blood! Top Secret. C O P S Y C R E C T. If you can Josh find it on there, it's listed as group. Josh Blood! That's our Josh electronic Blood! music concert production Josh company. You can donate Blood! there. That's not what Josh it matters Blood! for. I'm not trying to make any money from Josh this. Blood! It's very, very appreciated. Josh Blood! Josh Blood! This is part of the Northern people. Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Rest in peace, my crowd! Okay, the crowd seems to have dispersed. Don't the police are seeming to be shoot. taking a minute to figure out what Don't they're going to do. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Again, guys, I'm not out here asking for donations, but people are asking, like, that the app is top secret, C-O-P-S-Y-C-R-E-T-T. -E That's not why I'm out here, but people are asking, and it would be very, very appreciated. Top secret, someone wants to pin my cash up on the demo on the comments for me. That would be great. I can't do it right now, because I'm out here dodging bullets and shit. That's not why I'm out here, but that's the way we want to. And everybody please don't shoot. for this too. There's shoot. helicopters overhead right don't now. Shoot. I don't think it's don't a new shoot. helicopter. Don't shoot. This don't is far shoot. less violent than the first one yesterday. Yesterday we were out here and they were pushing the lines back. And we have been peacefully very, protesting very and they've already so thrown tear gas multiple times. We'll be back in a minute, guys. So far. Keyword, so far. Baking soda and water is the best tear gas. Do not use milk. Baking soda. Okay, and they're water. coming out. They're so coming down now. Watch, watch people. Here they come! Hold the ground! Hold the ground! They're still Hold threatening ground! to shoot us. Oh, fuck! Did they just say please? I know! No, they said they're shooting like salt rounds. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck. They're shooting something! They're shooting it under the fence so that they can't throw it. The protesters can't reach them to throw it back at them. Yeah, they're, they're purposely shooting it under the fence. Okay, people are throwing some kind of smoke bomb. I'm not sure if it's tear gas. This guy just threw one right back at the police. The police are getting gassed out. They started rubber bullets and sold down to tear gas, and the no one has done anything. The police are getting gassed out. Yo, don't sample me, okay? If it is a fan. Hold your ground! Yeah! Hold them out! Yeah! Oh, shit. They're firing at us now. They are firing at us. I'm going to take cover. That's what we need is more smoke. Yeah! Police are getting smoked breathe. out. People are throwing shit at the These people on the front lines right now. You guys are obviously making a statement. They're there with their hands up. They not They've already done salt rounds and I'm gonna go check the back. I wanna make sure they're not closing this in. Yeah, we do. And find somebody to yell that back. Shut up! Don't shoot! Shut up! I can't fucking see! Spray yourself. I know it's, it's... Give me a second, I can't. Open your eyes. Take a minute. No, I'm good. I got baking soda. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. So 
Come on, give me that. People keep trying to fucking call me, guys. Please do not call me. Okay, here come the boys. People are moving out. Oh, here come the flash grenades. Pay attention, watch this. Carly! Carly! Hey, small! That's all they're fucking asking for! This is disrespect of our fucking Dude, I'm, I'm capturing all this. I agree, 100%. This is bullshit. Thank you for They shot at us because they shooting all of these. Why am I wrong? Yeah, they have left. Yeah, God. Shut the fuck up. Come on, let's Just be cool, be cool. You guys, be cool. I'm white just like you. Carly, be cool. We're all the same team. 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 We're all the same team, y'all. We're all the same team. It's okay. It's my fucking brother. Her brother's a pig! We're moving! You wish you could be a fucking pig! They you said she was rubber bullets, so we had to move. Go. No. Let him go. Oh, yeah. Let him go. Um, Come on. Come on. Let's go over here. Come on. Fuck that guy. You can tell you whatever you want. So fucking uneducated. He ain't out here for the right reasons, man. He's just here to stir shit up. I can't breathe! No, I stood on the front. I can't breathe! We're not I taking can't our breathe. reaction I on can't these idiots. Breathe. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Take them out! I can't breathe! 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 Shit is hitting the fan right now. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Shit is hitting the fan. Okay, the protesters are moving. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I'm with you. Yeah, I can tell. What's this? I agree. Just so you know, we're live right now. We got 500 viewers. I hope everyone heard me. We all did. These people are idiots. And I just had some shit to work. So we came down here to tell them. We were all at the Justice Center. They started tear gassing and doing rubber bullets, so we had to move. They brought in the riot squad. It was a 100% peaceful protest. Oh shit, here they come, y'all. Get a shot there, of that. Check it out. They're coming through. I need to yeah, move. We got to move. Our idiots jump on their fence. Do you have a mask? Hey, I, don't don't I got your gas three times. Don't Put don't that shit on and wet don't it, too, don't if you wet it. Shoot. Okay, I people. Don't don't the don't okay. Don't hey, you guys ready, dude? <laughs> Oh, I wanted to hold it. Okay, here we go. Hands here we go. Up, don't shoot. Hands Come on, let's move. Don't shoot. Hands up. Don't shoot. Hands up. Don't shoot. Hands up. Let's go. Let's go. Don't shoot. Hands up. Don't shoot. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. a gang of SWAT right there. They had about 12 officers with them. Look at this guy. This guy has something on his car. I'm not sure what that is. is there, they're, not, they're not coming for us. They're coming for the big crowd right now. It's like, oh, hi, Bob. Thanks for helping me all this time. Fuck you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I want to keep I'm this live stream going, though. I'm not. Sorry, I do want to go take it out. They're coming for us. They're still here. Let's go for it. There's someone them. in the back of that cop car. They're shooting Okay, more tear gas. More smoke coming out right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. Go, 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 It's ironic earlier today, you guys. The police submitted to us, but now they are currently attacking people and arresting people in the streets. Stay together! That was a hell of a shot, too. Okay. Lots of explosions going on up here. Helicopters overhead. The energy here is fucking insane right now. Stay together! I mean, this is anarchy. Yeah, I know. I don't Careful walking the streets right now. Alright, okay, check out this McDonald's right now. I know, I know you're bad. Just go, man. We are the law. We're breaking the law for being outside right now. We're all criminals for being outside. Get a shot of this McDonald's right now. Let's go back. George! George! And I'll find everyone else. Fuck this! On the... Let's go back! Let's go back! Go back! Reassemble! Okay, it seems the um, riot police are heading up towards the park block now. Reassemble! Right here! Oh, you do? Yeah, I want to catch some more footage though. There's no news out here that people need to know what the fuck is happening out here. Why chase the police? Dude, I think I like fucking both sides are dumb. Oh shit, okay, here comes some more cops. Heads up, you guys, you're coming down here. Now there's a plane that doesn't pop in the way. Because it's the most smoke came up here, so they gotta spin more down there. Oh, you, ah, oh, we gotta move down to the tear gas. Fuck, uh, where, do, where do we find? They split everyone up. Everywhere. They started doing tear right gas now. and rubber bullets and chasing the whole crowd. You what? Everyone split up. Tear gas and chase them. Dude, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going downwind of it. Here, let's take a minute right here. We're in Portland, Oregon. We were having a priest for protest. They started tear gassing and bubble bullets. They dragged the screen a little bit again. Let's go. Not that bad. Are you guys afraid of us watching? Yeah, you mask on, homie. Give me sunglasses. We have 500 people.
to disperse those, get them to move on. As Laurel said, they have declared this an unlawful uh, demonstration, so they're going to uh, make sure that they get people to move on as quickly as they can. And like I said, this really changed dramatically and very quickly. Uh, seemed like maybe police were going to allow this to sort of play out throughout the evening and let it go until maybe people decided they wanted to leave. And that's when we could see bottles being thrown from one side of the street at the Justice Center. And then police responded. At that point, people really started to scramble and trying to get out of the way of the gas that was used by Portland police and all other law enforcement. Well, well stand by, Art. Uh, we're going to take a look at Sky 8. And uh, people are, are just joining us on our, our website. So we want to keep this going for a little while. And here you can see a vehicle, police vehicle with police on either side and tactical gear responding There's downtown and, and if you're right just joining us i just want to recap it what's going on tonight this is now the third night of protests we're half an hour into a, a city-wide curfew that the mayor ordered there you can see tear gas that was deployed as police try to break up this crowd downtown we've got two groups of protesters tonight a very large crowd gathered in laurelhurst uh, pat doris was estimating about 2500 people marching them from from Laurelhurst Park uh, through southeast up Burnside. Yeah, Last we heard, they're really around 40th, up. but they're marching westward. Protest then we have this group really that was down center. near the Justice Center that it's Art so was talking it's about. Down. Largely, it's been peaceful, yeah. especially the group that Pat's been covering over by yeah. southeast, and we'll check in with Pat throughout the evening. Uh, this group here by the Justice Center, that's the one that was declared an unlawful assembly. We saw uh, sound okay, trucks so what you just de saw declaring today. a using loudspeakers, um, telling people they had to leave, they had to, to disperse, say, or they would be forced to leave the area. Um, the we did see a lot of people trying to run from the area. We saw tear gas around, and as Art was saying, sure bottles were thrown. The police say they were glass bottles the that were being thrown, that. and that's right. when they declared There's this unlawful assembly. You know, when I was coming into work this afternoon, about a little around 4 o'clock, I, I had to drive through um, downtown I mean, to get to KVW, and you could see planes, on your way but, uh, through downtown, right now, and I wasn't even sure near the area of the Justice Center. The the countless here. buildings, uh, businesses that, that have had yeah, their I'm pretty sure windows boarded up. Almost like me being there spurred them to do it more. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the people did start throwing stuff at police first because they were going to Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the people did start throwing stuff at police first. Like, sit here and do your chant. Remember his name, George Floyd. Yes, the McDonald's is open. This is my friend Carly. Do you want to say what's up to the people right now? You guys don't want to know me. You don't want to know Carly. I'm the devil's advocate. Regroup! Regroup! Yeah, too, Group. We're stronger in number! The two Portland natives out here. Regroup! Come on, guys! We're stronger in numbers! Come on! Okay, multiple police choppers overhead. They just fucking gassed the car with a six. Multiple police choppers overhead. Trying to see if those are um, news droppers. We got a group coming that way. We're regrouping this way. Fuck this! Okay, here's a chopper right here. Um, oh, sorry. <coughs> what do you think? News chopper? <laughs> We're trying to find groups of people. They tear gas the crowd in front of the Justice Center while we were all on our knees. Dude, I got, dude, the, fucking, the thing exploded right literally in front of my face. There's public citizens down here who are trying to go about their day. You can't just start gassing people. Make things worse. Let's regroup. <laughs> okay, how far is your house? Okay. 
Anyone in Portland, come to Pioneer right, Square. We're, go we're regrouping. Regroup. Regroup. Okay, people, make sure okay. to follow me in case I'm going to be out back this way. So make sure to follow me as the stream gets disconnected. We're probably going to take a breather. Let's go. Regroup. So and uh, we'll be back to it. No, man, it's not me. Regroup! Against traffic in the as far as I know, there's no media here. So we are the media. Don't run! Yeah! Walk! Okay, we're walking walk the the street. Street. Let's walk in the street. Fuck! See him on the ground. Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! 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 The citywide curfew. So the people need to know what's okay. going on out here. All right. Well, we're going to continue on here, live here on our website, as we uh, also try to endeavor. Hey, stay together. Let's go together. That uh, the main protest definitely got this first when all of the, all of the shit went down. Yo, let's walk in the fucking street! Every officer is out covering this, trying to handle Stop traffic! Prove a fucking point! In St. Louis, they stopped the whole fucking highway! Come on, Walk across the fucking street! Fuck these guys! Stop traffic! Prove a point! What we've been told so far is this is a peaceful gathering. So we've been encouraging them to continue to No justice! No justice! No justice! 
Yeah, we're, uh, well, what we're seeing is a lot of police coming through the wall. There are only about a half a dozen protesters who are left up, up against the fence right there. Uh, but these All officers streets. will probably be going to another All location. Streets. Uh, what they've been doing All is uh, coming down here and then All moving streets. west primarily is what they've been doing until now. Uh, so All we'll see streets. where they're going to go. What they've been All doing streets. is going to wherever there are pockets of protesters that they want to destroy. It's, uh, you know, it's quite a show of force. They make their move and go to where there are people who are uh, you know, in, a, in a crowd gathering. If they wanted to first them as fast as a few minutes ago, we were able to hear it sounded like a flashbang in other parts of downtown. Uh, but you can still hear it over here. You hear it all over. You hear them Back down the one way! They're going to be moving around, it looks like, trying to get the one way! Police officers here. They We keep going the opposite way down one way. We will not let them follow us. We will not let them pass. We will not let them break us. They tear gas us away from the justice center, but we will not give in. Justice center. We say in the street, they say that there were glass bottles that were thrown. We could clearly see them uh, from where we were, about a block and a half away. We could clearly see that someone was throwing bottles. And then we know at that point that Portland police responded with gas. And as I said, people just started to scatter at that point, trying to get away from the gas because it is really uncomfortable if you get too close and you get a face for that. Well, We're going to let you know that uh, police are, have said that they have dispersed the crowd that was there at the Justice Center. Uh, they declared that an unlawful assembly, but to put it in perspective, they also did want to thank uh, the people who are remaining that are peaceful and, and acknowledge that the crowd on Burnside is remaining peaceful. They are marching. Keep it going, guys! Um, going down Burnside westward, and it's a very large crowd, and they have stayed peaceful, and, and the police acknowledge that, and they're grateful for that. We hope it stays that way. There really is so much pain in the community from a lot of different angles, and we, we've heard from the black community that the pain go, is so deep. It goes back hundreds of years about how they've been treated by police, but also um, you think about this pandemic and COVID-19, it has disproportionately affected the black community with uh, the frontline workers and the uh, black community has been infected at a far larger rate than the rest of the population infected with coronavirus. So there is that during the pandemic and then the George Floyd uh, killing on top of that just brought up a lot of anger and hurt and pain and, and these people on Burnside are, are walking as allies walking down Burnside peacefully for now we we do hope it stays that way we're, we're going to be continuing to monitor this as we have these two groups one downtown near the Justice Center that police are now saying ha have been dispersed and um, they've declared that area uh, an un unlawful assembly trying to keep people away from that area but um, as we watch these marchers on Burnside uh, this is a, is a peaceful demonstration we're going to take a look now. Um, as you can see here, police, and this was earlier this afternoon, a, a viewer sent this in to us. And it's really powerful and emotional to look at this as police take a knee along with protesters um, in support of what they're trying to say, those who, who are protesting peacefully and uh, shaking hands there, as you see. But it's really powerful to see, and I, I know police are really tonight trying to make sure that it, it stays peaceful. Okay, we have Sky 8 now, live over Burnside. And you can see that uh, this crowd stretches for, for many, many blocks. It started earlier today at Laurelhurst Park. And then the crowd uh, started moving, moving westward down Burnside. A second crowd uh, there at the Justice Center, 
in that area where we did see some problems uh, around 8 o'clock with some glass bottles being thrown at police and then uh, tear gas was deployed trying to disperse people, loudspeakers telling everyone that they had to leave. It was now an unlawful assembly. And from Art's reporting, it sounds like that has been fairly successful down there as far as dispersing the crowd. Although we did say they may have moved to another area, we, we aren't sure about that. So we're gonna be keeping an eye on that as our police. There are a lot of police downtown in tactical gear trying to see if any of these groups have splintered off. We're gonna keep watching this. We wanna let you watch this crowd as it moves down Burnside. Of course, uh, this is our third night of protests. Uh, I was here Friday night when, when it all began and it, it did start off peacefully that day as well. It was um, started off in the morning, uh, just uh, late morning about 1130 uh, out at Peninsula Park. And um, it was a night, a peaceful protest with vigils. And then um, later in the evening, the marches started. And it was probably a little after nine that we first started getting our reports downtown that some splinter groups had broken off and started causing some damage, uh, breaking windows, uh, smashing a glass, businesses breaking into businesses, setting some fires and dumpsters inside. Some uh, one had a, a firework was thrown into Chase Bank, started a fire there. And then we, of course, saw the fire lit inside the Justice Center. And it, as our reporters described on uh, Friday night, it was chaotic that night. This is, if you're trying to place where this is, and you might be able to tell by that jog off of Burnside, that is Burnside and Northeast Sandy that you're looking at here, where the crowd is, if you're trying to track where they're going. Uh, we haven't been told exactly where they will, if they have a destination, but um, they are marching down Burnside right about Sandy right now. continue to watch this as uh, thousands. I, I think Pat thinks it's about 2,500 people. We don't, of course, know exactly how many, but that's his, his estimate. It was about midnight on Friday that police declared the situation Friday night a riot. And of course, we're all hoping that this remains peaceful from what you're seeing there. We didn't see Friday night officers, for the most part, intervening to stop people from breaking into buildings and looting, but we did hear about 13 arrests happened Friday. Um, from what I've read, one officer was hurt by uh, something being thrown at him, uh, possibly a rock. Um, another officer reportedly injured by an incendiary device. Um, I don't know what their conditions are. Um, and also there was an unrelated shooting and then another shooting that might have been related to the riots on Friday. Then Saturday was not nearly as destructive as Friday night, but there were a lot of arrests. I, I think I read about 48 arrests on Saturday. So we've had upwards of a 70 arrests throughout the last couple of nights. This uh, is a statement from Reverend E.D. Mondain, the president of the local NAACP. And he said this after the riots on Friday night. Destructive acts that hamper the progress of our cause can only be committed by those who do not truly care about preventing further George Floyds or are too ignorant to know better. To our non-black allies, do not commit violence in our name. And so far tonight, Sunday night, it, it seems to have remained largely peaceful with two protest groups. One, uh, downtown, they were near the Justice Center. That crowd has largely been dispersed, according to uh, Art Edwards, who's reporting down there. And then this one we're watching to see exactly where they're going. It started at Laurelhurst Park with hundreds of people marching down Burnside and now past Sandy in Northeast. And they're continuing to march westward. There are some police liaisons that are along with them trying to keep this peaceful and so far they acknowledge that they have and they are uh, tell them that they're grateful that this has been a peaceful crowd we'll continue to watch this uh, live from sky 8 so you can see what's happening tonight on this third night of town today said they can't find another example in the last several decades of a citywide emergency and a curfew. I, I know from the 20 years I've been reporting here, I don't remember 
a citywide curfew. So those of you who've, who've lived here all your lives, I don't know if you remember another curfew, but this seems to be unprecedented in our lifetimes. And this is the second night of the curfew. It went into effect at eight o'clock tonight and will continue on until six in the morning. Only those who have to travel for work or emergencies, of course, people who don't have homes uh, can be out on the streets tonight. They said they're not really interested in, in citing people who are out and about uh, that aren't in crowds, but that people could be subject to a $500 fine. But they're really encouraging people not to be out on the streets so that they can try to, to keep this under control. All the off ramps from I-5 and I-405 into downtown have been closed, trying to prevent uh, people from coming downtown. Like, uh, maybe people waving it. At Taren, the joy of movement. You try to stay ahead of the map. As you can see, it, it just does still look peaceful as people continue to march down Burnside. Okay. I'm listening to our producer, Allison, who's telling me that our crew's there. We have uh, Pat Doris, who's covering the crowd there uh, in on Burnside and Southeast as they continue to move. Uh, they're really now moving into Northeast. And um, also Art Edwards, who's downtown. So they're moving locations right now, trying to follow, follow the action. And uh, we'll be checking in with them in just a little while. But we want to continue to let you watch if you're interested in, in what's happening on this third night of protests in Portland. And of course, as you know, if you're watching and reading the national news that we are one of just, I think it's now 100 cities across the country that are protesting following the death of George Floyd. While in police custody in Minneapolis, this was almost a week ago, his death uh, a week ago Monday, so Memorial Day, uh, when a Minneapolis police officer knelt on his neck for several minutes and then he later died. That officer has been fired and now charged with third degree murder. Three off other officers also fired. We're waiting to hear charges for those officers, but it has um, unleashed a lot of anger and hurt and fury really across the country. Okay, we do, uh, I just heard that Mayor Ted Wheeler is speaking now on MSNBC. And um, so he's talking about what we're seeing here and we're gonna be able to listen in to what he's saying in just a moment. But when I talked to Mayor Wheeler on Friday night, about 12.30 in the morning, so it was Saturday morning, he was uh, quite upset about all this. So uh, let's listen to what Mayor Wheeler is saying on MSNBC. There's been a little bit of violence towards the police officers throwing water bottles and the likes, but uh, so far seems, seem, things seem to be pretty good. So what is the tactic in order to keep things under control? What we've seen um, in cities across the country in just the, the past hour is that a lot of the a lot of the protests, a lot of the tensions, a lot of the protesters ha have dissipated. And part of that is, I guess, the curfews. Another part is the police maybe uh, having a, a, a bigger strategy, the National Guard coming in. What do you do in order to calm things down or does it just run its, run its course? Well, every, every demonstration is different, but first of all, you start with clear expectations. We obviously support people's First Amendment rights to assembly and free speech. We do not tolerate violence or vandalism. We, of course, established a curfew like dozens of other cities around the country. Uh, we've, of course, limited public transportation, and tonight we took an unusual step in closing off on ramps into the city of Portland because we heard anecdotally that some of the demonstrators were coming from out side of our city. So every who were very, very frustrated that all of the discussion around vandalism, around violence, chaos, looting is overshadowing the larger message around justice and the death of George Floyd. And uh, what I'm hearing in particular from black Portlanders is they don't want us to lose the context. Boys with uh, skateboards breaking open windows. What is the message? 
You know, that's a very provocative question, and I've had a lot of discussions with people in the community about that. Of course, there is a long and strong history of demonstration here in Portland as well as all around the country. That's a very American value, and there's no question that if you look back into our own past, there have been times when provocation, even some aspects of violence have actually shed light on important civil rights issues. But what's happening here is we actually have black leaders in our community saying, hey, uh, if you're a young white person and you're committing acts of vandalism, don't do it in my name because that's not yes. honoring the legacy of George Floyd. That's not what the black community represents. And frankly, that's not a very Portland value either. So we no. do not support and we do not condone either violence or vandalism in the name of any political act. And open up social media and you'll see that happening in, in, in uh, small interactions all over the country. Uh, uh, people going up to people, other people and saying, don't do this. Don't do this in my name. Uh, Mr. Mayor, thank yeah, you know, so for joining me. Yeah, thank, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good, good luck in Portland tonight. I, I do appreciate that. You just heard Mayor Wheeler, Ted Wheeler, talking about what's happening in Portland on MSNBC. Um, she asked him, you might have heard, um, how do you keep things calm and peaceful? And he talked about having clear expectations that, uh, and they did put up this curfew at 8 o'clock saying people are not supposed to be out on the street. Um, he said that they don't tolerate vandalism and violence. And um, so what the city did was limit public transportation also uh, took the um, very unusual step of closing all the off-ramps off I-5 and I-405 into downtown. And, and he told the reporter there that um, they had some anecdotal information that people coming down the were joining this protest and demonstration from out of the city. So that was one of their strategies is to close off the off-ramps so people who were planning perhaps more destruction that they couldn't come into downtown. It looks like we're now seeing this crowd on Burnside preparing to cross the Burnside Bridge, moving into downtown. Um, we do have our Pat Doris, who's been following this uh, this group from started at Laurelhurst Park and moved down Burnside. Let's check in and find out what Pat can tell us about this. Pat. Right, well, we're at the corner of Northeast Burnside and MLK. You see uh, thousands and thousands of people marching west toward downtown. They've been thick like this going by for three or four minutes now. Different parts of the group chanting different things. But uh, yes, it is quite an impressive and large group. Um, so I'm not sure we want to keep our live camera up too much longer here, Laurel, but we did want to show you that uh, the bridge is not being blocked. They are being allowed into downtown and we'll see what happens on that side. We'll try to get to a, a safe distance away so we can talk to you and find out more. Uh, thank you, Pat. It does look like um, you have a big crowd. I mean, maybe more than what he originally estimated of 2,500 people. But here you can see that they're chanting, carrying yeah, signs. Like um, looks like most people have face masks on, but they are, are staying peaceful. And um, I don't know if Pat knows. Maybe we can check later. St. Louis, I told you. I told you. They're destined to go. But you did hear uh, the mayor on MSNBC talk about the message. People the people being hearing the message about police brutality and the pain of the black Americans are feeling um, without the destruction that we've seen and the disturbances with people who are listening. He said he called it a very provocative question that, that in the history of the Portland protest numbers. Go in that direction. <laughs> following Friday night's demonstrations and the, and the destruction that we saw, that this isn't the way to do that. Um, that was Reverend E.D. Mundane who said that destructive acts that cancel the progress of our cause can only be committed by those who do not really care about preventing. Further, George.
George Floyd or are too ignorant to know better. Fuck you. He said to our non-black allies, do not commit nah, violence them, in our name. Uh, I think we still insurance. have Pat Doris. Just want to get some more information from you. Pat, do you know where, where these demonstrators are planning to go? No, but I'm concerned that they're headed towards the Justice Center. We'll see. Um, there seems to be a, a remarkable amount of coordination. Uh, and I just say that because we started at Laurelhurst Park, and it started with a few hundred, and then it just grew and grew and grew. And it's no small thing to organize this many people from a variety of, you know, groups and parts We're of the city to all converge at Laurelhurst now. Park and these other places uh, and then to be coming people. together. Uh, and so I'm fascinated to find out what's really behind all of it. Uh, and I Penny will say on I don't know, there. but Pockets there certainly is a great side. deal of passion. These folks have been marching for a couple miles now that direction. and uh, don't seem intent on stopping anytime soon. So if this group heads to the Justice Center, uh, I think that's going to be a uh, very powerful demonstration, and uh, we'll see what happens there. Of course, that's the scene of the other group that was there earlier, where police declared this unlawful assembly, um, where glass bottles have been thrown, they had to deploy their gasoline. At last word yeah. of art, they had dispersed that so, group, but now, yes, Pat, you think this group possibly yeah, might be going back into that this. area? Why do you need to stand and wait? So you don't I only, I don't, I don't sort of know that. I only mention it because that is sort of a classic place in all protests that I've covered anywhere uh, that people go is to the Justice Center or City Hall, places like that downtown. It has great symbolism and can uh, spark a lot of anger amongst folks that are uh, frustrated for one reason or another. So it wouldn't surprise me if that is the destination. And uh, hopefully we don't see any more destruction in downtown. Uh, businesses have been uh, hard hit enough, I think. They have, you, you saw for the police talking about the liaisons that they had with, uh, with the marchers. Have you seen uh, any police presence there, Pat? No, not with this group. I haven't seen you were here when the very front of the group came through with people on bicycles. Uh, they were uh, no, they're, they're going, they're going, they're going around. Demonstration. It didn't look like yeah. there were any police oh, there the at all. So, uh, no, not seen oh, any yeah? police involved here. They had uh, bicyclists that were blocking the street. Uh, and yeah, they're just basically such a large I'm group that they're keep up with the front proceeding side. down a little bit uh, right here. farther to the east. We did see police blocking some side I'm just trying to keep up with this front side right here. But as far as guiding and talking to organizers, which sometimes does happen, uh, I've not oh, seen that. For people maybe outside of the area where you are, it's like they're and talking we're in the small group. We're going to meet up with into the big group. downtown. Oh, shit. That's correct. They're going from the east side, crossing uh, the Willamette River into downtown Portland. And so far from what you've seen, you've been following them for a while now. It's been peaceful. That's correct. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of chanting, uh, a lot of clapping and uh, that sort of thing. But uh, we've not seen any destruction at all. Uh, and the bikes are made out of front. done a really good job of alerting motorists. Let people know that there's a big crowd coming. Uh, I'm fucking dead. It's like a <laughs> crazy. There is that. They're also uh, not all that excited about the media here. Man, maybe announce it right now. Uh, news channels. So, I did want to ask you about that. Fuck you. You should go away. We're blocking the whole fucking bird's eye bridge. We're blocking the whole fucking bird's eye bridge.
every once in a while they try to change position to cover this, but also do it from the safe distance. It didn't look like from that shot that there are also a number of cars still, uh, cars traveling in that area, uh, along with uh, the demonstrators. So, but so far, uh, everything's peaceful, looking at the Burnside Bridge as this um, crowd makes its way across. Thank you so much. And Art, is, uh, Art Edwards is on the other side of the bridge where, you know, Pat's not sure where they're going. We, we don't know where they're going, but it could be in the area of the Justice Center, which is where we had the unlawful assembly earlier. Um, we've declared it that way. Art Edwards is covering a peaceful that. Protest. Uh, you're looking now live. Anybody who's tuning at, in now, uh, this is Portland, Oregon. Not on peaceful protest. But right, no, yes, you know what, I think well, the question is going, is going to be, will they be allowed to get all the way across Burnside? Oh, because uh, the uh, state troopers are out here helping, they were out here last night as well. Uh, they're the ones who are on the back of the, on the sides of the vehicle that you see that are up on the bridge. We can see people beyond them who are walking uh, westbound uh, over the bridge. But like I said, what's happening is that the state troopers, uh, at one point here at second, all jumped off, put a line across second, jump back on who's onto the bridge so the question is going to be how are they going to handle that are they going to allow people to come across are they just going to block cross traffic or are they going to uh, make a stand and say well you're not going to be able to oh, cross in fact right now it looks like all those state troopers who are on those vehicles those vehicles are now coming back down off the bridge they're driving westbound on the side uh, and we can see the so people right marchers beyond them so it there. does appear that uh, they are going to let them it looks like right now the they're allowing them to yeah, yeah. Well, the to the bridge. There's some cars that are trying to go eastbound, and they're going to be stuck for a while because uh, there are markers that are coming straight towards them, and they don't have a way to get out of the way. So they're going to be stuck right there at that point, uh, and we'll see what happens as those markers continue to come this way. So, um, you know, Pat's, Pat's thought that maybe they'd be going to the Justice Center sounds like it probably could be a pretty good thought as to what they're going to do because there have been so many protests over there at the Justice Center. Uh, this would be a way they could do it. They could come across the Burnside Bridge, they could cut over on 3rd and make their way. It's about, uh, we walk down here uh, from there, from uh, from Madison and 3rd, from that area. We walk down here, it's probably about a 10 block walk. Uh, and you can make that fairly easily. So uh, there is a good possibility that that's what will happen. The police will allow them to uh, go ahead and continue to walk and make their way over there. And uh, we'll see what they're, what they're going to be doing. We see more of the Portland police going uh, across the street. They're going uh, north on 2nd uh, right now. And, and we'll be trying to figure out a position that they need to be in. We're seeing now the cars that were trying to go eastbound on the Burnside Bridge are now turning around so that they can get off the bridge before all the marches reach. I think, you know, as we've been saying, we try and stay back as much as we possibly can. So I think that uh, in the next couple of minutes, as they continue to get closer, uh, we're going to push back probably we were just to told the that second the, uh, to move back to wait for us to start using the gas on it. And uh, let them go. So masked up. If you're in the so protest, you watch this. We don't want them to be involved in, in the middle of it. So we're, we'll probably pull back and move over and uh, you know, move out of the way a little bit. Uh, the chopper might still be able to see them. And we'll certainly be able to see them and uh, come up above. I think I can hear the chopper up, up above you. Right and we have a really good yeah. shot right now, Art, from our Wells Fargo Skycam that you can see. So it's on the right there. That's our Wells Fargo Skycam. You can see this massive amount of people who's crossing the blue side from the east side to the west side. Police officers that were on the end of the west part of the Burnside Bridge, and it looked like they might not let them through, but now they have moved away, and it looks like they're going to let this group pass. Um, there are cars that were trying to cross the bridge from the west to the east, but they're not going to be able to do that, obviously, so those cars are trying to turn around. It's going to be quite a traffic mess. So they don't want to be downtown right now amidst all this. Uh, but so far, this crowd is has clear. It's still walking and standing, demonstrating. Arthur, do you want to jump back in? Well, I want to do uh, to let you know that that uh, we're going to move back out of the way as people come across the, the bridge. As we said, uh, we are not getting in the middle of all of this, so we're going to move back. We're actually going to the west side, and we're going to go to at least. Well, I'd say third or fourth, and we're going to uh, go back down. We'll probably go uh, south on third for a little bit and see if that's where they turn and get a sense of what they're going to do. Uh, we want to make sure that we're not 
right in the middle of it all. And you know, they, 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 the police have all pulled back. So they are not here. They are letting them walk down the street. That's what uh, happened. This massive crowd moving west on Burnside. Can you hear what the police? Can you tell what the police are saying as you move? You hear what they're saying? They're saying, please express your words, but please do not destroy your city. Yeah, so they're saying, right, do not, do not destroy your city. They're saying the actions of this group will determine, basically determine how this goes. Do not destroy your city. Uh, so it, it appears as if Portland police are willing to let them go and do this. They want to protect uh, your First Amendment rights. The actions of this group will set the tone for this evening. Yes, it does, and this group is now turning uh, south on third. Uh, if they continue down third, you know, 10 blocks or so, that leads them right to the Justice Center. Uh, the announcement said they want to protect their First Amendment rights. What this group does will set the tone for the evening, which we would take to mean that demonstrating a peaceful going to protest. allow them to do this as long as they uh, as, as long as, as there is no violence, as long as they continue to do this, they're chanting, they're walking, they're not causing any kind of issues at all. Portland police will allow them to do this as long as everything stays the way it is right now. Certainly no one wants a confrontation between these protesters and police and I hope that it stays peaceful and calm like it is right now. On Friday night, uh, from some of our reporters, it was uh, splinter groups that, you know, split off from the peaceful protesters who caused uh, the damage. So we, we hope that we don't see that tonight. Uh, Let's do the donuts real quick, guys. If anyone needs a picture of this picture. Stay tight! Stay together! 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 Stay tight! All street! 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 All street!
little barricade is supposed to do.
I lost Isaiah. He may be uh, back there waiting for me to come back or something. I gave him our phone number. with this large group that came across the bridge as they get toward the Justice Center is the mood changing up. It's really mm. difficult to tell. I mean, the chants have been relatively the same from what they were as they crossed the bridge. Like, and so it's, I, mean, I think at this point, police are expecting things to ramp up, um, but certainly there's no indication from what I've seen that this is anything other than a peaceful protest. That's all I've seen from Little Hurst Park crossing the bridge to this yeah, point. I it has been peaceful. I haven't seen vandalism. Um, really, the only violation happening right now, obviously, 
is the curfew being violated, but everything else has been by the book in terms of this protest at this point in time, from what I've seen. So, Dan, we're monitoring Portland Police Twitter, and they just tweeted again that their sound truck is advising the crowd that police want to protect marchers' First Amendment rights. The actions of this group will set the tone. They just tweeted that like three minutes ago. So have you heard the truck down there telling, saying anything? No, so I actually, I think the police are towards the Justice Center, again, where we're heading right now. Um, so I haven't heard the trucks. I haven't heard any communication over megaphone at this point. Okay. Um, it's just, it's all headed towards the Justice Center. All right, Dan McCarthy, thank you so much. I know you'll keep uh, marching toward that area to keep us updated on what's happening. Uh, we all want to check in once again with K2's Allison Mechanic. Uh, she's also in the downtown area. I'm not exactly sure where you are right now, Allison, but tell us what you're seeing. Right now, we are well, right now we're on Third protest. Avenue. If you take Everybody a look here, here we have seen this time. long line of people just continue to parade down this United, area towards together. the Justice Center. We, this group has been walking past protest. us for minutes, like and it's yesterday. not showing any sign of letting up. Everyone up. has been peaceful. We have not seen any kind of violence with this group just yet. We also haven't seen the police come near them. We have seen police circling through the Portland area uh, and telling people to go home. But when it comes to this group and where we are on 3rd Avenue and Southwest Taylor, we have not seen police yet. But we're seeing a lot of people holding different signs. Signs, uh, megaphones. We're hearing chants uh, of just people saying, "I can't breathe, no justice, no peace." We also are hearing some kind of profanity, which is definitely still coming along this with this area with these protests that we've been hearing all day long. But again, this group has really just been coming and coming and coming, and we don't see any sign of letting up. Uh, if we get a little bit closer, you can actually see both lines just continue to come, and they are heading towards the Justice Center. So we're going to head that way as well to see if that's where they are. you for screen recording just to let you guys know we have so many comments coming in I don't get to see everybody's comments so if I if I, if I don't reply to some of you guys it's probably because I didn't see it but I'm trying to show appreciation to every single person who's watching right now I appreciate you so much thank you everybody who's tuning in thank you everybody who has shared everybody who has donated to the cause thank you all so much demonstrating a peaceful protest. If it stays peaceful, if it stays peaceful, we won. I agree.
Let's meet right here. So third and third and what? Third and uh, I don't know. I think that's oh Madison. Third and Madison. Everybody who's watching, share this for us. Third and Madison. Let me start reading these comments. Okay. The Proud Boys join the group. That means they're marching with us. If they start inciting, if they start inciting violence, then we, we can pinpoint them out. Thank you, Trinity, for screen recording. I guess they're letting us have a peaceful protest, Nicole. I keep skipping over my words. I swear. I'm just nervous. I've never had, you know, this many fucking people watching my live before. Besides yesterday. 1.5 right now. Okay. I don't like being over this bridge. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't
fucking riot gear on. Here we are. Take a fucking knee. That's up. cute. Look what we're doing. Look what we're doing for our city. Quit your job. Quit your job. Yo, your mom. Thank you. Guys, like I said earlier, we are not here to practice social distancing. We are here to practice our protest right now. We're not worried about the social distancing rule right now or the curfew. Huh? I see them. I see Corn with us right now. Which sign are you talking about? We want the Portland, Oregon sign. I showed part of it for a second. We are downtown Oregon right now. Downtown Portland. And make sure you click the button on the bottom to follow me. If this gets disconnected, what? No. If this gets disconnected, I will go live again. Make sure you guys are following me so you can get a notification to let you know that I go live again. Notifications on. Y'all watch and share this, we need as many viewers as we can. Because the more viewers we have, the better influence we have to get people down here. If you are from Portland and you want to come down here and you're hesitating, it's still worth it. There's still time. There's still time. There's still time to fight. Come down here. Come protest with us if you're from Portland. Okay, thank you. again. Just letting y'all know. I'm sorry for repeating myself, but sometimes people can't hear me over the chanting. And sometimes new viewers come in.
This is crazy. Herman is standing up. I appreciate everybody who came here tonight and everybody who's watching. Thank you so much. Anybody who's new who's watching, if it go, if it gets disconnected or if it freezes for a little bit, just wait 15 seconds, 15 to 30 seconds, and it'll kick right back in. If it freezes. And if this live ends, I'm going live immediately after. So make sure you guys follow me or just go back to my page if this live ends. They Y'all watch and share this. We need as many people watching as we can, because the more people we have watching, the better influence we have. There's still time for people pulling up. There's still time. If you are in Portland, there's still time to pull up. My bro just pulled up right now. There's still time. And in case you guys can't see at home, there's approximately 30 uh, riot cops right here, all the way back there. They are strapped, armed, and they are laughing at us. They are actually chuckling and laughing at us. We are asking them to stand with us in solidarity and take a knee, and they are laughing at us. This is your Portland Police Department laughing That's at where us. We're going, I think. Wake up. Do not get to sit quietly behind a, a group computer screen, there. behind a phone screen, and tell me that riots don't work, that protests don't work. Your white silence is violence. You're not to be allowed to be comfortable and say complicit. You're either with us or against us. Are you going to be a white supremacist? Thank you so much for sharing, Rachel. Fucking fight. Hey, thank you guys for the donation. That's going to be put to good use to help support this, to help support this movement. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Madison. Support from Manchester. Thank you guys so much. If y'all watch this, share this. If you've already shared it, share it one more time for us. We're not worried about the proud girls right now. They can join us and march with us. He's not going to hear me coming out of the crowd.
Thank you, Ashley. Support from New York. Appreciate y'all. It's like I was proud yesterday of how we came through, but today, tonight, I'm even more proud. Look at everybody. This is a fucking statement. History in the making. History in the making. Right here. Right here. Right here. Let me read these comments real quick for a second. When I started violence, Lisa, we good. Aaron Scott, all right, bet. I see your comment. I'll let them know. This live might end soon, guys, so make sure you're following me or you go to my page right after this ends and we'll start it right back up. I appreciate everybody's support. Vancouver, come meet up with us. Uh, we're making history uh, right now. Uh, people were starting to throw glass bottles over the fence at the cops. Let we your Vancouver people know to come here. here. Link up with us right protest. now. We do not want we're making history, history right now. Every group, come this way. We are downtown. There's still time. If you're watching from home and you're thinking about coming, go ahead and come. There's still time. This is history in the making. Anybody new that's joining? It's Portland, Oregon.
Hey, grab me a water, bro. Grab me a water. Is my back closed? My bad, y'all. I can't drink the water. Make sure you're following me. This live, this live might end soon. Make sure you're following me. I'm gonna go live right after it ends. I'll go live as soon as it ends. Either follow me or go to my page when this is over. Thank you, Charles.
This is crazy. Thank you for tuning in, Dana. Just for him? Okay, I don't know who this chick is who seems to have brought the microphone, but she's kind of being an idiot. I'm pretty sure not a lot of people like her. around and see if we can get a better idea as to what the plan is moving forward, guys. I met this guy. All right, Dan McCarthy, thank you so much. Uh, How you doing Kelly on there, she is also no, standing by. No, we're not supposed to do all that. It ain't really about that. You have that you're speaking of, correct? Get home safe. We're on Maine now, and I just ran into April, and she's down here and has agreed to chat with us about what she's doing here. April, you said you've been here since about 7 o'clock tonight. What's it been like, and why are you here? Um, it's been really peaceful so far. Um, we just, we just are, are here to support the police brutality across the whole nation. It's ridiculous, and it's got to stop. And this is the only way I think that people can bring their bring their um, solutions. Way we more. have to do it. What, this, is like, this is like the 92 riots and all the other riots. Four. You know, when we talked a lot about the fact that, uh, you know, I've been here for many years. I grew up here. But seeing the amount of people, what did you think about that show up? What were you thinking when they did show up? Well, we were here, and it was really small. I'm sorry. And uh, we were really here. It was really small, and then um, then everybody we kind of separated from everybody. And then we decided to, we started to walk back where the other people were coming. 
and I don't know, I've never been gassed before. I really got gassed. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing. It wasn't fun. I, I just, I just feel like the pe American people need to do something. I mean, seriously, it's, it's ridiculous now. You know? I mean, it's, 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 I don't know. I have no words because I don't know. What to, I don't know the solution. I just know that the people need to get out and support everybody. Have you been out here other nights this week? No. Uh -uh. Okay, so you've probably seen the coverage, though, I'm sure. What did you think? Last night. Um, the coverage last night, uh, it was okay. I mean, they didn't seem like... This is by far the largest crowd, for sure. I mean, this is a lot of people. But it just needs to say peaceful. That's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to incite anything, so... What have you felt about the group so far? We did hear a few people were throwing maybe like water bottles, something like that. Very, that was scary. We kind of backed off a little bit, so I'm with myself. What did you see? Um, just a few people in the crowd were throwing bodies at the police, and then, then we all just took off. So. What do you think your biggest hope is out of this whole situation of being here and being down here? Just to put the voice out to the people. This is not right. The, the, the American people have to fight against the police, the police brutality. I mean, that's why I'm here. I mean, thank you for chatting with us, April. I really appreciate it. Stay safe. You did great. Thank you. You know, and as I was walking over here, I did speak with a few others who had shown up tonight and you know their sure. biggest thing is obviously they didn't want to be on camera and that's okay they said their biggest thing here though is is they want to talk to police and how police feel about these deaths of unarmed black men and what they think about these situations and about um, entire groups of people who feel unsafe on the streets even here in Portland Say, they say their biggest question and their biggest reason for being here is to talk to police and get those answers. Um, and as you heard April also just echo is that seeing the thousands of people out here, they wanted they wanted to be safe, they want it to be peaceful, but they want their voices heard. And that is really the big message. And just as you can see, I'll let uh, Rodney go out. Uh, there are people still up on scaffolding over across the street from us. There's just large numbers of people in what is normally a relatively busy um, streetway right here. It's a third and main, I believe, is where that is at right there. And then just to the right of it is uh, Justice Center. And Justice Center is being protected by police right out front as well as being boarded. It is boarded up as well from what we've been seeing over this last weekend. Um, but again, you guys kind of mentioned that obviously police were talking about projectiles being thrown. April even mentioned that she and her son saw that, and that's when they kind of took a step back and decided to move because they say that's not why they're here. And I, I think a lot of people are kind of feeling that same way. So it's definitely an interesting and different I think there are a number of different groups and a number of different reasons for being here right now and for being here tonight, but for the most part where we're standing, a lot of people pretty quietly observing or chanting every once in a while um, to get their message, their message heard, their message heard. We're going to go this way. Rodney, can you just pan that way for me? Apologies. Sorry. Pretty bright light. So, um... Anyways, lots of different reasons for being here, that sort of thing. But anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and pass it back for you. Kelly, thank you so much. You know, Portland police have been tweeting and you were talking about it being peaceful there and you interviewed April and how much it means for her to be peaceful. And Portland police just tweeted a few minutes ago that they're encouraging everyone to remain peaceful. This is a very large crowd and we need everyone to be calm and keep this a peaceful assembly. We want to check in with K2's Allison Mechanic right now. I believe that she is on the other side of this, so she's giving us a different perspective. What are you seeing there, Allison? Well, Catherine, we just want to show you exactly how big this crowd is from our vantage point over this way. There, these people have completely taken over the Justice Center. Now, we'll here earlier today there was a fraction of this number of people in this park it wasn't filled nearly as much and now it's much more packed so I, but i have to say even though there's more people here now it is still the same feeling that we had earlier on in the day a lot of chanting a lot of people hugging a lot of people marching together and holding up signs uh, it's a very big difference than eight o'clock when that curfew started and that's when we saw I think a little bit of everything, really. Uh, we have not seen police, we have not heard from police, but again, right now, everything 
relatively calm while they're sure, it's a good girl. There's a lot of people out here and there's a lot of applause and things going on. It is still relatively calm and a lot like what we saw. I can't tell because there are so many. But other people have commented on this. Today. So uh, while there are still a lot of people, it's, it has calmed down a lot. Allison, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And I, um, I see the protesters behind you being peaceful. And sorry, we're going to take a live picture now. And I believe this half ago, almost, about an hour and a half ago, where we started to see uh, from Chopper 2 this, this incredible view of thousands of people marching west on Burnside. And we watched this for about, you know, an hour. Uh, it took them to walk from, I think they started at like 47th in Burnside. I think originally some of them were over this park. So Dan McCarthy had talked about, you know, just in terms of the mileage, it would take you at least an hour to walk from there uh, to downtown. But just to see uh, the massive amount of people who have been part of this protest and who are wanting their voices heard, uh, just See that image from Chopper 2 um, of the massive crowd crossing the Burnside Bridge, standing in solidarity with, with people all over this country, and George Floyd's family, and George Floyd, who lost his life on Memorial Day. We also um, have several crews on the ground, and we've been sort of rotating to give you different perspectives. Here's another live picture from Chopper 2, and you are seeing. I do th I think that there are police in that shot there. A lot of cars, though, and so we had talked about that earlier, and we've seen a lot of cars as part of this protest. We haven't really seen that before. Mostly seeing people. Oh, no, that's right outside the Justice Center. So there is um, a line of cars wrapped around this whole area, sort of the, the circumference of this area. Area that's um, hyper focused on the Justice Center there. And if you aren't completely familiar with the downtown area, if you live in surrounding suburbs, you don't get down there a lot. Uh, the Justice Center it is right next to the U.S. Federal Courthouse. The Justice Center is basically Portland Police Bureau headquarters. That's also where the Multnomah County Jail is located. There are some courtrooms in there as well, where initial arraignments and other certain court appearances are held. That is why that you're see, why you're seeing a lot of focus on the Justice Center, police departments and police precincts across the country. They have certainly been the focus of demonstrators. So that is why people in our group over a mile long. We don't know where we're at. We are downtown right now, on the intersection of Main and Third, right in the center, right in front of the Justice Center.
Michael. I will. Um,
So as we see us down here on Main and 3rd and Southwest, inside us we have some flyers. Uh, thank you guys for watching Junior Sport. I will be back in maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Hopefully I don't need to go live anymore. Maybe hopefully everything de-escalates and uh, stays civil. But I will uh, get back online when happens. Thank you so much for watching. Check back here shortly. Stay safe. Love you guys. Be surprised so if we, we see more. more right see, there, there's Fire still that incredibly heavy National Guard presence, Tennessee State Trooper presence. Throughout their uh, the actions that they've taken today. Yeah, they said indeed that they had been peaceful. To say the least, you can't hear him. I'll try to commentate when he talks to them. Well, two guys are being fired. Warriors just fired as they approach. I turned away. Tear gas is being fired. More was just fired as they Sorry, approach. Me I turned here. away. So you can see it right there. Over shot them. So I'm instinctively ducking as it's happening. Sorry, you see me duck here. So you can see it right there. Let them in! So I'm instinctively ducking as it's happening. Tear gas. They, there are rocks over by the railroad tracks. People are throwing them. You can see people throwing them. This is this is taking a turn. There are rocks being thrown at police. There are rocks being thrown at police. And that is prompting tear gas. They, there are rocks over. Now more tear gas is being released by the railroad tracks. And people, people are throwing them. You can see people the throwing them. This is the, the, this is taking a turn. Thick with smoke. People are yelling, "Don't throw rocks." getting very thick with smoke. Now more tear gas is being released. People are kicking it back at the officers. The, the, it's just smoke. The air is getting thick with smoke. It's getting very thick with smoke. It smells like firecrackers. It smells like firecrackers. It's just smoke. It's not tear gas. It smells, like, it smells like firecrackers. It smells like firecrackers. There's still a group of protesters here.
you so much for chatting with us. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. People so, are again, that's just one more perspective of being out here. And obviously, it's just some people not happy that we're here. It's thick in the air now. Just wanting to share their message that's what happened. It's in my eyes. I'm protesters. So, I'm pro we'll just start again. That's where we started tonight. Just, I don't even know. Then people are coughing. That's what happened. Some protesters. Law enforcement. We I know you arrived at the CIA and some of the other things we have down there, but do you get the impression that things are dwindling at all? Is the crowd becoming less in size, or smaller in size? Do you feel like some people are leaving? What is, do you get, what's your feeling on that? So the thing that we kind of all mentioned when we first got here, we were a little bit later into the group, uh, is that we did notice a number of people who were leaving. Uh, we saw them walking out with their signs, carrying. People being treated for milk with milk right now. Get their eyes. The spray. It's either tear gas or pepper spray. I'm not entirely certain. There are people being treated for milk with milk right now. Get in their eyes. Get the spray. It's either tear gas or, or pepper spray. I'm not entirely certain. The protest is, has largely walked away from the police. Yes, Justin. This is how it's fucking done. The rest of the world needs to see this. This is right here. We're all standing here. We're not hurting anyone. I'm sorry. I'm still sitting here. I'm, I'm trying to get myself. The people up. I'm going to clean off my glasses and keep walking. Of those who, who gave me some milk. Up, I, the, I needed it. The people have headed north. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean off my glasses and, and keep walking. I'm appreciative of those who, who gave me some milk. I, I needed it. It was very, very painful. It was, it was, on, it was, it was really unlike something I'd ever experienced before. I'm, I'm feeling better now. Are people saying this guy's a cop? Who's a cop? Are you guys talking about the guy? Do you guys think that this man right now could be a plant? Cops are telling people to move back. They're, they're, it's a very large police presence right now. This stuff makes your nose run, which is one of the surprising things about it. I do have a tissue.
they start marching what's left of the group back off Adam Street. Thank you for donating. I appreciate it, Carol. So what we just saw out there, excuse me, I'm a little back to it now. Hold on, hold on, never mind. Police are moving forward. Crowd is running. Across here, I mean, I, I might try, but I'm, I'm kind of on Adam Street. I'm gonna follow the group that is heading this way now. So, just to review what we just saw, a group of protesters approached, a, in, Brandon. this was on Appreciate Riverside it. Drive about right, 15 minutes ago now, I'm guessing, I don't have Thank a time stamp. What just happened, here. again, I'm Sam Harden with Commercial Appeal, what just happened is, as a group of protesters approached the police, a few were pepper sprayed, they got very close to police and we were pepper sprayed, the police was throwing smoke bombs and then tear gas as well. What then, what then happened was, was the protesters were throwing rocks. There are rocks along the railroad bed that crosses Riverside Drive, near Riverside Drive, crosses Adams, or Jefferson there. At, and, and as that happened, they threw rocks and that prompted more tear gas. So I'm, I'm following a group of, of a small group here, seeing where they're going. Police, as the night has gone on, have really, you know, sought to defuse the group. You know, they're heading back down South Main, which is where another group ran a few minutes ago.
Not many people left out that I can see. We can't kind of isolated, po isolated pockets of activity. Thanks for watching thus far tonight. This is Chris Sam Martin with Commercial Appeal. You can check out our coverage further at commercialappeal.com. I don't see anyone that's Maine and Adams there. I'm gonna head back. We're now reporting live. I'm gonna head south now on Main Street. See what's happening. See what's happening there. We can't hear you. So they're asking to talk to, to, talk to one of the sergeants right now. Uh, they're not the sergeants right now. They're asking. They're pretty much coming up and asking him what he wants. They're communicating through the fence. I'm looking at the hotel. Uh, yeah, there is. You know, at least they're giving us that. This is the courtyard area. Right. You can actually, you can see, there was a. I'll let, I'll let him talk. I'll let him talk. That, that's a chair through the window there. I'm sorry. I'm lost for words. That there is that is some of the most damage I've seen tonight. This this protest started very peacefully, and as the night wore on, it escalated. There was considerable crowd anger, and it, it diffused into to police and people interaction. That's, that's, there's a group now ahead of me, about, about 50 to 70, maybe 100 people. Passing Court Square on my on my left there. That's Court Square. You can see ahead of ahead of me that there's a group of people. We want you to continue to share your voices. And we are here to ensure that you are safe. And that we continue to listen. And we want to... That's the group ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch up. Can you guys hear? Let me know if you guys can hear what they're saying. You hear the clanging of metal? I don't know. I can't see what's happening. Police guys coming up to talk. People are are beginning to throw things. You can hear it. The crowd is running. There are multiple people in the organization bring them to the forefront. He's saying that the police command staff are listening to the command staff. Speak to what's stated out here. They are hearing you. They are in the middle. They're listening. They're listening. They see how important this is. They're listening different. Let him talk. That's the clash of glass. And now there's a roar from the crowd. I'm gonna keep a distance here. This is not, that's a shoe store there. People are jumping into it. That's a. Uh, I'm gonna get a little closer actually. Show you what happened. This is Winfield's Shine Fine Shoes and Accessories, as you can see on the sign. This is this is what happened here. People people threw stuff through the glass. I believe that's a scooter. I don't know if that was in the store. There's the glass on the ground here. The piece that we have seen in Memphis the past four nights before this, it's gone. Thank you. 
question, follow this page just in case the uh, live gets interrupted. Thank everybody for watching so much. Share this if you haven't shared already. And if you have, share one more time for us. The more viewers we have, the more influence we have to change the world. Make this the last time we have to do this. I appreciate everybody. There's a group of people marching, walking, and heading down the street. Police are ahead. Down some kind of way. Downtown Park and we're gonna let them at the Justice Center. Western Center. Professions. And to a certain point of time, there's nothing else you can do but that. How do you feel, you know, even without this tonight and the last couple of nights? People are you live here. This is your city. How do you feel as a black man? What time is it, Brandon? History in the making, y'all. As a black man in Portland, I feel like we have the time and the opportunity to make a difference and a change, There's and put a step forward. And what, what I see like right now off. is so pretty much, yeah. our people that are taking advantage of what they can. And that is not a represent, representation of all yeah, of us. Running. And uh, I wish that you could watch this and sit back and say, hey, all these young people out here that are out here, they're all young. They care about something. We have to figure out what it is. We have to get down to that level about what it is they want, what it is that they feel so strongly about, and what it is that is making them do the things that they do. And there's a certain point in time to where young people, they watch all, you know, we at SCI, and they watch all the old generation of leaders right and the young people right now they feel like this they feel like they're not being represented because you have ron herndon you have the older generation of people that bring up stuff and when you bring up stuff it brings up all wounds it brings up all wounds so what we have here or we have a young generation that doesn't know how to handle stuff like this but what we have Thank here donations, are people who are tired of what's going on who are tired of the right old generation the of what you sit there and say and what you get up on TV. You ask the same five people. No you ask the same people. Nobody never this, asked this Cash Carter, group, hey, you ran for mayor. How do you feel about this? You, hey, I, I mean, you through? didn't, but I'm not here right so now because, so because, 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 because I care. Thank you so much. The black community does not like the fact that the same well, what was black five Ooh. people or six are always up there. I'm there sorry, are I, more, I, as you see right now, there are more blacks Man, I'm gonna give you a few more out here protesting positively than are negatively right now. And we don't see that because we see the, the same five people on TV with Mayor Willard. Thank you, Ryan, for the yeah. 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 When you do see people out here who maybe aren't here for the same reasons that you are, are you afraid at all that they're diluting your message? Does that worry you? That they're distracting from your message? No. It, I mean, it does not because they have the right to feel how they feel. They have the right to feel how they feel. And this is a big money game. So, but as citizens of Portland, my message is will be this as blacks we are tired of the same people coming on tv representing us and we need new younger people on tv representing us and i want to thank you for like you know being out here yourself and doing what you do as the news they want to sit there all the time saying that the news is fake everything it's not this is real all this is all this is real Thank you, but blacks in Portland are tired of the same people representing them. We have, we have a lot of people out here right now that are frustrated and are mad.
and they're mad because they're not being represented. They're being misrepresented by the fact of, and you can feel it, you can hear it, you can hear it right now. Do you think that this can spur the change that you want to see? Yes. 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 Firework, everyone, just so you know. Yes, yes, yes. 100% yes. And like I said before, we have a population of blacks who are tired of the same politics, who are tired of the same people, people are saying things that haven't got done yet. Up. So we need new politics. That's where I come in. We don't like that. We don't appreciate that. We don't like that. Why are you running? We also, we don't like that either. That's not the agenda what we're on right now. We are on trying to be heard. We are on trying to be heard. And let it be known that in the city right now, blacks are tired of seeing the same people tell them what to do. We are tired. We have all these people out here. We are tired of that. We want to be heard. And we will be heard by force if needed. If needed, we will be heard by force and by any means. Not Malcolm X, but by the great Damian Lillard, who hit that shot. Who hit that shot? Thank you so much. No one can deny you that. Thank you so much for talking to me, Cash. I appreciate it. I appreciate your time. But you guys, this is a message that you know we've heard from so many folks that have been down here. That they, they do. They want their voices heard. They want their message to get out there. You know, a lot of folks, some beers to say other things. And as Cash mentioned, that's not his message. That's not the message for a large number of the folks who are out here. So it's definitely there are just different groups out here for different reasons. But you you heard Cash and you heard his reasons for being out here. Things. And we'll send it back into you guys for now. All right, Kelly Azar, thank you so much for uh, talking with Cash Carter for. Um, hey, candidate for Portland Mayor, one of the, the many candidates we have for that position. Just in case this uh, now down to two in the runoff election coming up uh, this November. There is the live view from Chopper 2 of the crowd in front of the Justice Center. Even though it is dark, even though it's a little hard to see, you can certainly still see the size of the crowd. Um, that banner on our screens is protesting the march through Portland. Right now they really are sort of just the gun says less lethal on it. I don't believe it's just thousands of people marching from the east side down to the north side across the north side Whoever smells it, Delta. The intersection of Peabody and Main Street, Peabody Place and Main Street. You see Second Street down there. I see on GW building. You see more police behind me. There's police there. There's police over there. They are. There's more marching down Peabody Place right now. Peabody and Main Street, Peabody Place and Main Street. You see Second Street down there. I see on GW building. You see more police behind me. There's police there. There's police over there. Everybody who's watching, share this for me one time. The more viewers we have, the more influence we have. It is not too late to come down here. People are still pulling up. There's still time. If you're hesitating about coming, slide through. If you're watching from home, share this. Show support. I appreciate everybody who's watching. It's just like y'all here with us. This is the Justice Center in downtown Portland. Right now, 
I'm at the intersection of 2nd Street and Peabody Place. There is a group of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 officers here. At one corner, there are at least nine, maybe more, over here. There's some people still right now. The sidewalk. They need me in there. <laughs> you can see this is the visual. They're looking down. At least nine seconds. That's the visual right now. Remember his name. There's some people still on the sidewalk. Yo, what the fuck's happening? Yo, what is happening? Stay together, don't run! Don't run! Well, members of the media, we are just walking and recording what's happening. Okay, the three of us are members of the media. No, they trying to... No, they trying to... No, what the fuck is this? We are just walking and recording what's happening. It's some fucking bullshit. We were being peaceful. Y'all see it again. We were being peaceful. We were being peaceful. We are walking back down Second Street towards the field right now. Fucking bullshit. We were here peacefully. That was not no, that wasn't fireworks. That wasn't fireworks. They started shooting at us. Shit. What's up, guys? We've right. been down here all day. We followed them all the way from the park. Yeah. Everybody who's watching, we were being peaceful. They started shooting at us. Yeah. Yeah. You know what you about to do? You about to be out here for a minute? Right. Alright. Telling us to go, that's why they're banging on the car. <coughs> so a bunch of cars that need to get out of there. <coughs> they tear gassed us. Fuck you! Well! This is bullshit. Okay. They tear gassed us? Yep. That was just barely a little bit of it, though. Uh, uh, no uh, yeah, somebody started lighting fireworks off by the courthouse and then they they started tear gassing. They said if it remained peaceful, they wouldn't have done anything, but people started lighting fireworks off and stuff. But we're good. We're not peaceful. We can't have our windows up. I'm down. Yeah. Well, we're using a mask. Yeah. Well, huh? No. No. Everybody keep watching. Screen record this. Screen record everything that's happening because Facebook's going to try to delete this in the morning. I'm already knowing. They tried to pull this shit last night. <sighs> Nobody broke into the courthouse. Nobody broke into the courthouse. That's a lie. I was recording the courthouse the whole time. <coughs> Oh, the courthouse noise by Pioneer? Now everybody's just gonna start running from him again like last night. Yeah, people just started lighting fireworks off, so the cops started Stop tear gassing. Go this way, go that way. Go down the train track. 
अच्छा नहीं था तो Hello? What's up? I'm trying to be on my way home right now. Alright. Okay. Bye. See him tagging the windows? No music or we'll get cut off. I'm just getting wild again. share this if y'all watch and share this the more people we have watching I mean I agree of the more influence we have we they just started shooting fire they just started shooting shit at us for no fucking reason it fucking failed. we were being peaceful I really had faith that we would be able to communicate there but apparently not <laughs> And then the getting enough because officers to back up in place where they then begin making the arrests. And that's what we're seeing here. And you can see right here along 8th Street, that's uh, what's happening. They're questioning people and looking for stolen merchandise. Reporting live from Air 7 HD, I'm Chris Christie, ABC 7. I would just do. Yeah, Chris, I'm looking at social media. There's a lot of pursuits. There's, there's people, there's different accounts that just cover pursuits. And they're all talking about how there's a lot of pursuits going on. And yeah, it seems it makes sense. They're going after looters tonight. And uh, some of them, as you point out, are pulling over and some are not. And maybe that's what we were looking at when that pursuit went from uh, from the Venice area into Marina Del Rey. The fucking the proud girls. LAPD was circling. Are going to fucking act like they're part of the protest and they're going to start some shit. Look at this. They probably let the proud girls break in the fucking courthouse. We proud girls. Yeah, the proud girls. Yeah. What I'm telling them? All right. They ended up finally because they broke in the courthouse. But I'm saying the proud girls probably did that shit. Yeah. They don't break in. Our people didn't break in it. We came here peacefully. That's some bullshit. It's been peaceful. Everybody's been peaceful. Everybody's been peaceful. This is very, very I need y'all to think with your minds. Don't listen to what the news is telling you. They probably let that shit happen to incite this shit. Use your head. The situation is a setup, straight up, this Evan. This is insane Period. right now, people. People are driving wrong side. This is a peaceful protest. Motorcycle we haven't broken into nothing. 
Why would we break into the courthouse out of, out of anything when they have armed armed security out there with weapons that they will really kill people with? Why would we do that? It's a fucking setup. My bad, Amanda. I'm just saying. There's definitely no disrespect on any women. I haven't seen any. No disrespect on women. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna fucking walk up on these cops and show you guys. Sorry. My feet hurt too, my legs hurt, my arms hurt, everything hurts right now. This is really like a scene out of the movie right now. These officers are waiting for man, they're not sure what exactly to do. Luna, Andrew, Luna, Andrew, Luna, Andrew, Luna, Andrew. What's up? I, I'm busy, I'm, on, I'm live, I can't do that right now. Thank you for the donation, bro, appreciate you. People are saying there's no sound. All right. So the cops are lining up, apparently, like they're going to start rushing people. I just got a call from somebody. Ask her from which direction. They're over there. They're over there. Thank you for screen recording. You set it up! You set it up! You set it up! We came here peacefully. You're lying. This is like a scene out of a fucking movie right now. Yes, Ellen, they said they're investigating a possible break in to the courthouse. Officers, we're investigating a possible break into the courthouse. Please move back in front of the Justice Center to continue your protest. Y'all watch and share this. The more viewers we have, the more influence we have. They're not gonna lie and switch the narrative on us and act like this wasn't peaceful. Officers were investigating a possible break into the courthouse. Please move back in front of the justice center to continue your protest. Yeah, if there's a non-peaceful group, it's probably the proud people. The proud people. I almost <laughs> said proud girls again.
So anybody who's just tuning in right now, we were peaceful, and they wanted to talk to a few of the people, a few of, a few of the organizers, the main organizers, and they were going to let them in, and then they started firing shit at us. I have it all recorded on live. Yeah? Okay. So I was in the very front. So we were, so the, the people that are the organizers of this wanted to talk to a sheriff or whatever, and they asked them to come inside, but they said we had to back up so that they can let them through the fence. Once, as soon as they opened the fence and we had people away, they started firing shit on the other, on the other side. They started firing off like the, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you, that's what you were getting? Yeah. Okay. Over here? Yeah, I'm, I'm live right now. Oh, you're live? Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, do you know if you caught it on your live then? What's that? Oh, did you catch it? Sorry. Did you catch it on your live? Yeah, I did. I captured everything on my live. Okay. Uh, is that Facebook or YouTube? Yeah, I'm on Facebook live. Okay, yeah. Can I possibly add you? And, like, if, yeah. Once this gets cleared up tomorrow, like, we can try to reach out to you and talk yeah, about it? Yeah, definitely. Sounds good, man. You want my information? Uh, unfortunately, I can't quite write down right now. Okay. So I thought I'd give you my card, man. All right. Everybody who's screen recording, send me the clip of everything that happened right in front of the uh, Justice Center. I'm going to save this video afterwards, but just in case something happens, please send it to me. Since then, I mean, this is a peaceful protest. This is through and through, literally. Time. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. I'll be in contact with you. Absolutely, man. Thank you very much. You too. Start to cycle back toward. Yeah, man. Yeah, I ate before I came this time. <laughs> no, I don't have snacks in my backpack. Yeah. I'm going to save the live, I'm going to post it, but Facebook is going to try to delete it. I need everybody, after this live is over, to, to get that one part, that one portion where shit started popping off, and send it to me, and post it on your Facebook. We're getting this shit on Channel 12. change of pace here, but it was really a minor one compared to what we've seen in the past few days. If y'all watch, you share this with me one time. The more viewers we have, the more influence we have. Tension continues to grow uh, in what has been an otherwise entirely peaceful day of protesting, uh, dating back uh, to earlier this afternoon, guys. Thank you, Kristen. I appreciate it so much. All right, Dan McCarthy, thank you so much. Um, we do want to remind everyone that there is a curfew in place starting at 8 p.m. tonight. There's Allison again. Let me give y'all the narrative real quick. Right now we're in Portland, Oregon, downtown Oregon, in front of the Justice Center. What was supposed to happen is we were supposed to have two or three of the main organizers go inside and talk to the sheriff and talk to the mayor. And instead, as soon as we stepped away from the fence, they started firing off on us. And now they're trying to blame it on somebody breaking it. We pushing them back. We're sick and tired of blood. Who's back out there? We're pushing them back. Police are investigating a possible break in. I actually do think it's getting the message across. I believe that Mayor Ted Wheeler uh, gave an interview this morning that I am fully aware of. The message is getting across. The message always gets across when it's dealing with politics and money. We're marching forward towards the police. They're backing up. Tonight. The only way this things will change is if they apologize this and admit is the fault for the racism against We're black pushing. people. We are pushing and forward towards the police. They have to give us reparations. They are outnumbered. They need to they give us keep doing something more than I'm sorry. 
because there's a lot of black people that's dead. And it's a lot this of black is crazy. That we are pushing forward towards the police. Just like they tried to fuck with us yesterday. No! From this point, we've seen a very large gathering out here for a very long time. Any idea what the next step is? Are we staying out here for a while, or is it trying to go to another location? We are unfortunately not at liberty to discuss what the next move is. All I can tell you is the police should adhere to the warnings that have been given. We're pushing forward towards the police. We're backing them up. Thank you. If you guys take a look back over here, you can see just how big this crowd still is. Again, it's still been going on for a very long time. And we've been seeing a lot of people out here and they busy for a little while and now they're coming back and back. We're pushing forward towards the police. Uh, so Anybody who's just tuning in. Right I've never seen this in my life. Since, we are pushing uh, the police back. Just like they shot at us yesterday, but we're being peaceful. Thank you, Okay. Why are we backing up? What's happening over here? Fighting! Let's go! It's still not that many of them. Don't trip. We're good. Number of new 
eight police cars drive in, and I can't quite tell from our vantage point. So they will, so basically what they're saying is they're asking everybody to move back to the park, and if you fail to comply, that they will use force against you. So that is one of the warnings that we hear generally right before something happens if movement doesn't happen. We hear some cars revving their engines. We've heard some horns. Um, Rodney, I'm going to have you just focus on this right now because this is where they're saying they want everybody to back up into the park or force will be used against you. No one seems to really be moving at this point. And so generally speaking, when that happens, they do their warnings, see if people move, and then that's when we generally see some sort of force used, and then you'll see groups disperse. Now, again, I can hear another firework Here. right now. They're again, move back into the park. If you don't comply, force will be used against you is what we're hearing from police now being repeated. As police are beginning to move up, see them slightly through the signs. <laughs> So obviously this is developing and as thousands more people really seem to be joining, at least hundreds, no doubt, started walking into here um, just not even probably 15 minutes ago. This group has really grown. And not only that, they're now compacted in this general vicinity. They don't, it's they don't quite crazy, reach uh, down to salmon. So everybody screen record main, this, please. Main and third. Screen record this. Between second, third, and fourth is where they're all spread out at the moment. Um, the police seem to be trying to get them to back up back into the park, which is where we're standing. And there's quite a bit of space around us, but as you're looking over there, you can see they're very tight. They're packed in there. Um, but the number of people standing out there with their hands up, cell phones, of course, up, signs up. But not a lot of movement in the direction that This is a peaceful uh, protest, Paula. We're not destroying anything. But again, now here we can hear that. We're not destroying anything. We came here peacefully. We're we can people have been watching this since the beginning well, since again, yesterday. Still, We've been peaceful no since yesterday. And uh, nobody seems to want to, but lots of people out here with signs up. They hey, want their everybody who's heard. watching, this make sure you follow me. There's a button in the bottom. Make sure you follow me. If this goes up, I will go live So it'll be interesting to see now kind of what happens. They've done about four to five of these announcements. They're upside down, bro. They're upside down. That's about six of those announcements now. No movement. If you're watching, follow my page. If this live cuts out, I will go live with you. Excuse me. We're good. So. Kelly, um, we're hearing from Portland it? Police. We're okay. We're hearing from Portland Police through Twitter that projectiles are being thrown at officers. And she's hearing things. So, um, I can tell you a little bit of what I've seen. It, it seems tonight the projectiles appear mostly to be obviously fireworks, which we've had a couple directed right towards us, but also water bottles. So, there are a lot of people out here who have brought like uh, containers of water. Um, mostly I they're you know, offering to step to people who need to be hydrated, things like time. that. But then they're also being turned and thrown at Shoot police. And I've seen a couple of those Shoot launched over shot. that group Watch that's out. right up front there. Uh, at third and main, you can see police appear to be moving forward there, spanning across Southwest Third. Well, second actually, second right across Main, and um, you can still hear a number of cars revving their engines. There are a number of cars in the middle of the road down there, not really moving. Um, but again, yeah, the projectiles really captain that we are seeing. They're getting ready, they're getting ready, they're getting ready. Water bottles. And, uh... Mask but that's from our vantage point. That doesn't seem to be happening back here, mostly up front from what I can see. Police are still warning... ...people that they want them to move back into the park. But if you kind of look at the federal building, more people appear to be doing that. More pockets going on. Police are now running to go yet again.
Yes, I still have those pink. I still I have saw the pink cupcakes. They're gas. Um, more squad cars coming in, and now I can see. Sorry, guys, I'm trying. I can see a number. Ready. Oh, something else was just thrown. I couldn't quite tell what that was, but I do see police down at second appear to be kind of advancing or moving forward. So I think that peaceful they are protest. heading in this direction. This is a peaceful protest. Albeit slowly, but they are headed in this direction. All right, Kelly, uh, I want to give you a chance to take a quick break. Um, this is about to get bad. Let's go. Move forward. Move Reorient forward. yourself. See what's going on. Move we want to check in with some of our other crews down there. Uh, Dan Move McCarthy forward. is also in the downtown area. Uh, Dan, I'm sure you have been listening to Kelly as well. Where are you and what are you? Stay tuned. This is from Portland, Oregon, 4,000. So we're down at the corner of the Justice Center at 3rd and Shannon, and we want to kind of get an idea as to how things started to get a little crazy. And I don't know if uh, Matt Craig has heard a good person throw uh, the circle in the middle of the They're intersection lying. there. That was a donut, and for a That's an excuse. About we are two minutes or so, there was a vehicle spinning donuts in the middle of the intersection right outside of the Justice Center. And shortly thereafter that we started to see fireworks and things started to get a little more hectic out in Hey, if y'all watching, share this. Leading some of the activity that sent us down the street The more viewers we have, the more influence we have. More warnings coming in from police. And right now, again, that morning, as Kelly has mentioned and as we heard over the megaphone, is that they want them to be pulled away this from the justice center. This protest did start in the daytime. It started, started the way earlier. The street. As you can tell by the activity a little bit further down in front of the justice center, that has not my line turns off either in which police have liked that's why they continually are requesting for them to clear out. You can see folks who are still on the scaffolding, both on the far end of the Justice Center, as well as the one closest to us here. I'll and go live as soon as this ends, if it does end. Of those protesters and those inside their vehicles. In fact, not too long ago, just as we were waiting to uh, talk to you guys, we saw a vehicle drive up and was offering some of the people who were waiting here with drinks and snacks, anything that they were looking for. So it doesn't appear from some of the conversations that we're over here in the What's up? What's going on? Let them through. I hope whoever whoever needs that help is is good. I hope whoever needed the help is good. They sent the medics in. The medics are already treating the patient, whoever it was, or they're on the way to treat the patient. Send prayers to that person. Whatever's happening, I don't know exactly what's happening, but send prayers to that person, y'all. What's up, bro? Uh, yeah, I kind of recognize. Him. What's up, bro? <laughs> me. 
neither. Yeah, they got the responders at night. He's on a Look at that person. Fuck. So many other Caesars. Solution. We need a solution. Y'all watch and share this. Y'all watch and share this. I felt the mess of the static. Share this. The more people we have watching this, the more influence we have to bring more people down here. Let's go. Move forward. Oh, they're rushing us. They're rushing us. They're rushing us. For what? The second, 
Inside, the second night in a row. So we were peaceful. And they stood. They didn't give a fuck. I wish I was closer. What's good? Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. Now they're pulling up. I can't see. So fucking bullshit. We were here peacefully. Emotional, yeah, but I'm pissed the fuck off. Cause I'm here fighting for a fucking cause. Does anybody? I grew up black my whole life. Did anybody need that? I've dealt with police fucking with me. I've dealt yeah, with being treated kid, unfairly yeah. for my skin color. So I'm here trying to fight for that reason. Okay. We're all here to fight for that. All of us, even everybody else. You're here to fight. You're here to fight. 
you have a voice even from home, and I appreciate everybody that was watching, everybody who shared, everybody who donated. Okay, be sure you know, it looks like exactly as I thought. I'm here to fight. Well, well, I appreciate everybody here to fight with me. Down. For real. But I can't really tell that. After they told us to get into this fucking park, these bitch ass niggas is still. What's up? Yeah, bro, they shot me the fucking rubber bullet. Uh, oh, the This was peaceful, y'all. Y'all have seen it the whole time. Ever since yesterday, it's been peaceful. Protesters. Because it really looks like I don't want to see no fucking status. I will be outraged if I see a status tomorrow talking about we want peace. What, uh, now we're not peaceful. Thank you, Rajiv. Now we're not peaceful. Is there anyone who needs to know? We're done peaceful now. We already showed peaceful doesn't work. Peaceful doesn't work. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. 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 Peaceful does not work. Oh, I feel a lot better. Okay, well. We tried it. We tried it. We tried it. It didn't work. We tried it for two days in a row. Not once. We tried it one time. We tried it twice. It didn't work. I will be sure. Do you like it? I'm okay. Uh, I'm an idiot. And I, uh, so I want the gas and I want the gas. I got a little bit of it. And then I got, you got more fire. Hey, watch out. Yeah, that's not fun. That's not fun. But, uh... But it was okay. And then there's solution people getting in. Oh, shit. That ain't even fun. You guys want to say anything? Water, message. Hey, I was corny. Say, hey, 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 make sure he's okay. Who water, water, water? water. We're uh, back at McClure and Sheridan. I'm trying to be careful with how close I get to this small protest because there's some there's some language. Right now they are chanting no justice, no peace. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! I'm, I'm gonna get out the car. I just really want to be careful about this language. And if at any point it gets too too bad, I, I am gonna cut off. We'll have uh, coverage, of course, in the morning show. Okay, Blake. Uh, we tried to be peaceful and it didn't work. So police have this area blocked off. Look what happens now. This is up the street from uh, Cooper's gas station again. It doesn't appear to be violent right now. Like I said, we got a couple protesters across the street. Details of what's happening uh, tonight. I have been going live since police the, are blocking off this intersection though, specifically at yeah. Sheridan and McClure, so you cannot get in this area. Right. What happened is there were thousands and thousands of people all gathered up. Then some people, I don't know hey, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it over there. Kick some it out people the way. start progressively throwing more things like water. Oh, okay. Hey, they shoot it at the same time. We kind of stopped them from doing that. Kind of at the same time. The, the Bear with me, guys, because I'm going to, if I start hearing this language, I'm going to try to cover the microphone. Hey, we need to stay together. So eventually, Why are y'all splitting uh, up? Started gassing and hey. putting everybody up. Hey, that was a voice crack. That was a voice crack. Don't make fun of me. You said there's a shooting? Has my voice fucked up. Okay, so we're hearing reports of yeah, a shooting. I'm about to sign off and call way, Peoria Police to just to get some information. Uh, I, I'm about to, yeah, I'm about to make a call. Way. Thank you so much. Go watch and follow this page. Follow my lives for notifications. We're going to see what information we can get from officers. We are going to go live again. Shot. Unfortunately, we're going to have to that scene as well. Okay. It has now been I'm here to the shit over. I'm here fighting the fight. Um, just to kind of give you guys a kick, a wrap Anybody up, we're over at McClure and Sheridan. We were Police had this area blocked off. There's a small protest going on. Um, this finna, is the same I area where they had a small fire behind that. this yeah. uh, but I got yeah. uh, people watching me right convenience now. store. Uh, Eric, yes, I, I'm, it doesn't appear to be violent right now, but I would encourage you to stay away from this area. It's not more powerful than us, too, because who watches the news? 
my colleague Kyle is up here. I think I'm going to grab him really so happy. he can get out the way. Are you guys safe? Here. You guys okay? We were peaceful for two days in a row. Yeah, we are. You guys be careful time. too, okay? Lisa said this makes me sad for my hometown. Lisa, me too. Me too. Oh, oh, sorry. Melinda said, don't cover the language. No, Melinda, we unfortunately, not unfortunately, we have to, just out of respect for our viewers, we can't just air obscenities. Um, we've all heard the words before, but we absolutely don't want to give people a microphone and let them do stuff like this. Um, we're covering this specifically for your safety to let you guys know what's happening. Um, we don't want to perpetuate this or make people think that this is something cool. We just want to let you know if there's any violence or imminent threat. More people had protected gear like we, like, like they do. We'd be okay. We're only running because they're shooting fucking shit at us. All right, guys. Kyle. The we're running. We didn't lose. The we, so they're saying we they're saying they want they justice from the police. Us. And that we can't even um, fight and make this happen. Uh, I want to try to know that. They were chanting earlier, "No justice, no peace." Now they're saying they want justice from the police. But I'm not sure specifically what they mean when they say justice. Right now, this is a small protest, so be careful. They're probably going to route you around this corner. KB, we need to we need to head to the other scene. The cops only split us up because they have protective gear and we don't. That's the only reason. We were more organized and more prepared. All right, we're going to sign off because this is getting just the word, the language is, is not appropriate and we don't want to continue keeping this going on. So right now there's no violence. Again, I'll recap for you. We're here at Sheridan and McClure in Peoria. Uh, as you can see, police had this whole area blocked off. Early we showed them that we could pull up a, we could pull up a fight. Don't let the news fool y'all tomorrow. If you see anybody making a dumb status talking about, oh, they were right and they were looting again. You better put them in their place, because you guys saw it here. Yeah, I know. I went over there, but... We need to regroup with everybody else. Ah, <laughs> look at Fox Ball, man. If y'all watch and share this, stream the report this. Shoppers! Facebook police is going shoppers! to delete this live later. Please shot first! They are going to delete this live. Sorry, I'm just harassing Fox. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna head towards Pioneer Square, man. You wanna come? Yeah, sure, I'm down. What's your name, bro? Lorenzo. Lorenzo, Lorenzo I'm Ben. Four. Ben, nice to meet you. Yeah, pleasure. Ben. My best friend's name is Sam. He just, he just left out of here, too. Oh, uh, really? He said the tear gas is too much, but I don't know. I just don't know. It's really hard. Dude, this is my third day getting tear gas. <laughs> Y'all watching? I've been here since Shirt is live. The more people we have watching, the more powerful we are. Dude, there's this dude on that in Australia. What's up, bro? That was some bullshit. <laughs> huh? Yeah, it's like the same game. How do you feel? You fucking got it, bro. Tell them what happened. Tell them what happened. Bro, Sunday. Bro, 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 bro. We just got part of that shit for no reason, bro. We need to be a fucking... Fucking, um... They threw right up, uh, pepper spray right in my front face. I is got the nice cone, square? put it right in front of there. Yeah. Smoke. Yo, we need to right regroup. Cone. Where is everyone? That's fucked up. They shouldn't have to do that. I'm now we're going to use force. Yeah. Now yeah. we have to do what we got to do to protect ourselves. That's how it is. Oh, how what the is. fuck is going on there? I don't know. We should pray, people. I'm going to go check this out. Time. We've been okay, peaceful people. this whole time. This is, this is what that got us. It got us nowhere. It got us nowhere. Good. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. what is it? Can you guys see that? Looks like the looting is starting. There's a building on fire right in front of my eyes. I can't see the cops are there. Oh, it's just a, just a thing burning. So here we have a bunch of cops. Yeah, I agree with, uh, with Dante. I don't know what he said, but this is funny, man. Corporate entities get a whole lot of protection. 
Yeah, they're burning some pallets. Ooh, there's a... Do you guys see those officers yeah, outside? With their weapons? They said we broke into that building. How could we have broken in there when they are armed outside? It's a lie. It's a setup. How could we have broken in? They were there yesterday. They were there this. They were there two hours ago. They've been there to make sure nobody breaks in there. So there's no way somebody could have broken in. We were all being peaceful. This is a fucking setup. People are yelling. I don't know where everybody's going. Everybody's splitting up. We all need to get in the big group again. We have so many people down here. Yeah, this is What's insane, up? You guys. There's explosions going Hell on. Hell yeah. All Thank you, bro. City. Appreciate it. If you were all working, this wouldn't happen. What does that even mean? Working as in, like, a job? Because at this point, you already know what's going on. Not everybody has jobs right now. The pandemic has a lot of jobs lost, including my own. Man, Burning Man is crazy this year, guys. This is a great regional burn. I need to message the group and tell them to Poor guy works at 7 Eleven right now. South and Ten. Who knows where South and Ten? South and South and Ten. Who knows where that is? Yeah, fucking slaves. Nobody. All of us are slaves to the government, just like you. We're not so different, you and I. Join us. Okay, some good Samaritan. Good Samaritan putting out the fire. What a fucking scene. I'm just gonna go get across here and look. That guy just did more for this city than anybody tonight. What guy? The guy putting this shit out. That's not a cop, man. It's fucking Batman right there. I dropped my Watch glasses. Batman? Fuck. This guy, dude, putting out the fucking fire. Oh. 
Hey, I'm on your side. So I find this funny. A lot of different opinions out here. Hey, sir. You just did more for the city than anybody here, brother. Thank you. This guy just put out that fire. Drops mic. That guy's a G, man. Officers, yeah. like she was saying, man, we're all on the same side, bro. We're all fucking just trying to get by. We're all fucking just slaves to the system. Uh, Whitney, <laughs> you're watching. What are you doing? Are you at work? Or? Go to work, Whitney. Stop watching. Okay, I hear some chanting going on over here. I'm gonna roll over here and check this out. If y'all watch and share this, everybody needs to see this. Everybody needs to see this. So, this is Portland's version of a peaceful protest, rolling? and they're still fucking firing off on us. Just like every other city. Just like all the other cities that were peaceful, and they still fired off on us. Okay, flashbangs, tear gas going on. What the fuck? This was peaceful. You guys all saw it. I have it all recorded, but Facebook's gonna try to delete this. That was that, man. We're being we have this. These fucking thugs. Follow my Instagram just in case they try to ban my face. Uh, I've been tear gas four times this so week. So that y'all can get all the other coverage and shit. They're gonna try to ban my face. So follow my Instagram. It's in the uh, it's in the pink Four comments. times. It, it gets easier the fourth time. <laughs> Thank you. Hell yeah. Yeah, you guys saved me a couple times. They're gonna try to take my voice. Well, I'm glad I didn't walk that direction because I was about to. That's, is that tear gas? Yeah, thank you, Kyra. I appreciate it. There seems to be uh, a uh, major free point Joe of keeping that Period. area clear because within minutes of the large crowds arriving, my they boy. started pushing Joe the down, and then shortly thereafter, Let him out them pages. some of the fires that were being yeah, no set, uh, in the dumpsters that were along the street. His name so is again, Robert just giving Paulson. you another look at the flashing lights. Uh, we, we His name is Robert Paulson. We got part this far down by law enforcement, and so from here, we're going to try and get a little bit closer here. and show the response that's going on down there and see if those fires are still blazing. Uh, but from our perspective <laughs> now, uh, much calmer because of the immediate response by police um, once they were uh, once no, they arrived dude. in that area. So <laughs> the guy in there quits, dude. All right, He's out of here. Thank you so much. We want to check in with K2's Allison Mechanic right Looks now. like people are going uh, Allison, in. Allison, give us an I appreciate update everybody for donating. Y'all y'all really making a difference. Hi, guys. Yeah, if you take a look. Police, the join the us. You are the one for sharing. Everybody's watching. Everybody's following. Y'all making a difference right now. Oh, shit. hanging off on the back of these trucks as they make their way hey. through downtown. Peaceful protest! Peaceful, peaceful protest! Thank you guys for being peaceful. Home, but that wasn't quite happening hey, just medic, yet. So we right love now, you! We are still seeing people moving around through downtown, and now we are seeing yeah, police yeah, also yeah, drive yeah. through and also reiterating that message yeah, telling people sure to go home. So <laughs> it just depends on where Sorry you Sorry if I'm a uh, little under weather today. today. But All that it's an empty pepper spray like can make a brother run dry. Yeah, apparently, Vancouver is supposed to be meeting up with us. It's important to realize so when Vancouver gets the here, louder they hit us. We really have more of a chance. The harder they hit us, the louder we become. Just like the skin on the drum. Yeah, I know. Waterfront! <laughs> Waterfront Park, yo! Where are you guys going? Yeah, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Thank you for being down here for the car. Yeah, it looks like two down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah push in, in, yo. Dude, you want to come, bro? What was your name again? Lorenzo. 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 Yeah. All right. Yeah. Whatever happened here, we don't want it to go down again, yeah, yo. You want to say what's up to the people? Levi's saying Vancouver protesters are moving the bridge. Fuck, wow. Yeah, Vancouver hey, protesters are also meeting up to join forces. Someone says they're lifting. Someone says they're right, lifting the bridges up. right now. Let me get by, let me get by, please. Right, says they're lifting the bridges because Vancouver protesters are trying to push over. Yeah. 
back here all night. All right. Oh, shit. Protest is heading over there towards Waterfall Park. Protest heading towards Waterfall Park. Thank you so much, Allison. thank you. Yeah, right? Welcome to Portland, y'all. This is crazy. So you guys know where Waterfront's at? Protest is heading towards Waterfront. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't even know where to go. Waterfront, everybody. Going on everywhere. Period. Oh, man. The smoke is fucking ridiculous, bro. Oh yeah, I'm live stream. I got my GoPro going. I just uh anybody who goes outside instantly gets the same star wanted level. What's that? <laughs> Yeah, we okay. What's that, y'all? Six star yeah. wanted level! From the bay. What's Kelly, up? I appreciate oh, you. Thank you, we appreciate it. People doing good looks out here, making sure everybody's okay. Ain't no donation for no cause. Up, What's the cause? Uh, they said they the cause is the fact that I just went out and bought a bunch of fucking a, shit a nice little for the group. Leg wound to his leg where he got That's hit the there. cause. The cause is but, uh, anybody we're moving that away needs from something. That. Yo, people are telling me Waterfront. I'm always watching this saying everyone's trying to meet up at Waterfront Park right now. So we're gonna fucking it's push. Optional. Is there so people down there? I'm not telling, I'm not forcing people uh, to send donations. Down. It's optional. Right, well, I appreciate it. Um, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. We're gonna go this way and then come back that way. Oh shit, is that a lot of cops? Okay, a lot peace, of brother. Cops, bro. Yeah, Straight we just wanna check out Pioneer Square. We're going down to Oh man. They is not fucking around. This is live right now, people. They don't want you to go somewhere, man. They will fucking stop you real quick. <coughs> a lot of people out here. Oh, man. Someone did break this fucking building, yo. Curfew my he ass. Was just over here. Someone's over there breaking the glass and shit. Hold on. I'm sending a text. Nothing right going now. on at Pioneer Square. So we're almost heading up the waterfront. They don't know. Oh, damn, man. They right fucked that shit up, Yeah, that's dude. Pioneer Square right there. Dude. I think that's 7-Eleven. Hey, I appreciate that, Adam. We out here, brother. I got another dude watching streams trying to, come to move us to certain places here. That way we either keep away from the nonsense or we at least try to get back with like the peaceful protests here. Sure but, uh, you made. Yeah, Thank you so yeah, much, Heather. I appreciate good. that so much. Building up, yo. Message me. Also, I'll I'll message me in the morning. Windows, uh, windows broke everywhere. Yeah. No, nah, looking real. good, bro. The smell has That's facts. depleted. Uh, <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> can't see how much else of what's going on, but uh, we're still walking. We're almost there, y'all. We're just gonna keep going. There are tons of people just. Uh, people direction. are staying in just the center and wandering. They're trying to figure out what's and going on. And if you want to hang, bro, I'm going to be like going into ground zero and shit. Yeah, 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 I got you. Yeah, dude. Really, feel free. I like having you around, though. It's good to have like someone to check in. Facts and education. If you're not dealing with, but they're probably, if you're not dealing with the facts of the education, then it's not going to work. If, if, if the, if the people are willing, like I told them, they can be a part of the country. If they're willing to sit down with the small black community that they have. You see me, y'all, y'all see me this whole time. Y'all know I have If it's just speaking up. Oh, I didn't even contribute saying, hey, to the fire. And I wanted to. <laughs> oh, I wanted to shit. Throw something at the fire. <laughs> Looks like the fire department. Uh, I got hit by that rubber bullet. I did it. Right. <laughs> yeah, you guys, if you can, please share this video. The people need to know what's going on out here. Right now, across the street. No, no, I'm not concerned. What's kind of crazy is that seeing this right now is exactly. funny. I was, I was telling where did oh, the damn, child boys go? Uh, for once, I'm not the prey. I know where they went. A big chance for, I think, us. You know what I mean? They contribute to the shit. violence. That's and, mud. Don't step in that. I appreciate it, Lucas Jim. I love you, brother. I'll hit the fam up tomorrow. Let's know I'm all right. I'm scared trying to get in the bullshit. We're just down here trying to show a little. Hi, right, Lorenzo. I don't know. Blown up in the comments here. Look. Hey, so, everybody who's watching, I need y'all oh, yeah. to, I need y'all to uh, follow me right now. Look, dude, we missed Lorenzo. Lorenzo was there. I'm going to take a break from this live for a little bit. So I need everybody here to follow me so that you guys can alert me when I go live. There's a button right at the bottom. Or if you guys just like talking about it. So we're at one.
Oh, yeah, there's a big like old town over here. Beginning. Some of you guys are new. We have been peaceful since the beginning, since yesterday. There's been no looting, no violence. A couple people breaking windows after we got fired on. Before the curfew. Lorenzo for a president? Yeah, they started firing shots at us. Hey, uh, small group of people. So funny, yeah. Y'all saw it tonight. Yeah. We went to the Justice Center. We were so deep. <laughs> All right, I hear a lot of people yelling over this way. Yeah. I'm gonna go this way. On this for no reason, after they acted like okay, they somebody said make a negotiation Taylor. with us. After they acted like they were gonna let our uh, let our Man, tensions are so hot right, right now. <laughs> I appreciate everybody who's watching and everybody. Seven Eleven has live. closed its doors. Momentarily, I'm gonna take a little break. Y'all follow me. Look at these four guys. I love y'all for real. For me to understand how to treat you as a person, I don't need a religious leader to tell you that. So, Mike, my uh, anchor, Lincoln, has a question. I'm going to relay it to you. Lincoln, go right ahead. Oh, sorry, live TV. Uh, Kelly, I would love for you to ask him. He's bringing up so many good points, and I hope so many people out there are listening. There is a larger conversation, and there is what's happening now. How does he see us moving past this initial crisis where we're not seeing these kinds of demonstrations each night? How do we get past this really tense point to start focusing on that larger conversation? So he says you're bringing up a lot of good points, and he brings up the fact that, you know, this is a very tense situation. How do we get past this moment to get to that bigger conversation that you're talking about that we need to have, that we need to sit down and have that education piece? I would say in, in the city of Portland right now, I would say that first our mayor has to step up and actually come and address the people. Um, he has not done that. Um, he's only been barking out orders from probably behind his desk. Um, unfortunately, they have to address the people. You, you have to come out and address these people. If you stand behind a uh, uh, yeah, you should keep that. Uh, dude. That's like, like, the riot totally here, people. Then, yeah, they, at that point, you're, you're yeah. bringing tyranny to where people are not. They're trying to be heard. Okay. So that was one of the things she was saying was like, we need to get into a situation, which was the chief of police. She was saying that we need to get to a situation where everybody can be heard. But it, it, it really is not just lying on her, and that's the problem. Sometimes we think it's going to be one person who can make these changes. It's, some of these judges actually have to come out and speak because Officers, a lot of them are the, the guys who slammed the gavel let on a lot of the, the children around here and, and, and disenfranchised a lot of our lives. So a lot of them should come out and speak. It takes a village. It takes a village. It's not going to be just the police department. It has to be our mayor. It has to be our judges. It has to be some of these federal judges because a lot of people don't realize that's a federal building right there also. It has to be a collective of the people coming to the people and saying, we work for you. And you guys have to, they have to accept that, that they work for the community because this is why they tearing it up because they know they're like you work for us so what we're seeing is they're working against us as you guys seen when i walked up it was almost like the police were agitating these people and it's not cool but you have and that's all i explained to the chief that they have some bad okay, apples guys, and she knows that she, she, absolutely that. Right I, she knows that and one of the questions she asked me was why are you the guys are so good. Why are black people, she said she didn't mean to be, uh, you, let me please. definitely quote her. She said she didn't mean to be uh, 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 disrespectful you, She was coming from a very real hey, standpoint. I appreciate her question. She said, what makes you more afraid of the police Don't than being it. killed Don't by another it. black person? Because she said, for the black men in this city, I see more black on black crime than I see police on black crime. And People so, are throwing shit at the cops, man. Don't, don't no worries. We're not worried about the, the negativity. We're trying to have positive conversation. So uh, I explained to her that that is a psychological breakdown, and that it's easy to ask that question. But it's you once you educate yourself, then you can get the answer to that question. Why it works that way. It's going to seem like a really like juvenile question. Can we get there? George Floyd. George Floyd. I'm not. That is going to be up to, to be very honest, it's going to take a lot of work. Um, the black community first has to be, they have to have unity. We have to have a, a place in the Senate somewhere where we're protected. By, because in this, as I was explaining to the people, unfortunately, black people in America are POWs. They're not, they, we are prisoners of war from 400 years ago. Um, we don't have to be treated equal at all. When they wrote the Constitution, though, they wrote us three-fifths of the human. Uh, three-fourths of the human, we did not count. We were actually brought here as cattle and product. And so, in order to get, in order to fix what is, you have to first dig into what was, unravel that, excuse me, I'm sorry, unravel that, and then move on. And, and you have to be realistic. 
when I feel like when the education is put out there and, and we get a realistic education system, because that has something to do with it. It's all these different systems are in place and they're all pushing a narrative and they're not pushing the right narrative. So in order to get there, it's going to take everybody. It's not going to take black people. It's not going to take white folks. It's going to take everybody and everybody to kind of work their own that's some good ideas uh, of how to avoid us, being told not to go where they're going, but apparently we are going to uh, continue to kind of walk with this group and see if we can meet up with the, uh, the other group of protesters. And, uh, you know, maybe get to the front lines of this, catch something the cops shouldn't be doing, or whatever, saying that for no reason, other than just to experience Portland, baby. And I think they know that, because if they were not that smart to know these things, they should not be in these offices. We should not be voting these people in not, office who uh, aren't the police who don't have the perimeter to understand what's happening. What's up, Kenny? Don't deserve to be How there. you doing, brother? Um, Ted Wood, I don't know. Uh, but if you want to sit down with me, uh, it's I'm all right. Us again. Hopefully, we can get a town hall. We're going to catch up with us and we'll the camera back around so we can uh, try to catch anything that's going on in front of us here. <laughs> Maybe I won't catch anyone in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty far out. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, it's a fully, bro? I'm open, I heard. Getting too gassy, folks. I gotta find oh, this. Just one second. I got you, Jazzy. No, we'll be alright, man. We ain't trying to get no shit, dude. That's too gas uh, right there. It sounded like they had some, some communication with another group and they're trying to reconvene with that group. But, uh, we out here, bro. That's a good shot. Holy shit, you guys. I think I lost Lorenzo. Maybe not. Lorenzo! What am I doing? Levi saying. Yeah, I think I lost Lorenzo, man. He was out of here as soon as There are walkways in the side of the towards the downtown floor that you can all take. Levi saying, man, he's going to come to us and just join a whole bunch of other protests. No, he said it's still up, but they're more towards MLK. This where is we Portland, came Oregon. You guys, I don't know if y'all just saw that, but the police had a perimeter set up, and then a massive group came up. Yeah, I see. What and the police were retreating. The police decided to leave, and the civilians started to throw shit at the police. It all would have been great. The uh -oh, police I'm were actually I'm submitting now. to the protesters until the protesters, <laughs> one of them, threw a mortar, a fucking firework. Goddamn. There's so much shit going on around me right now. Just posted up, dude. It fucking it breaks my heart, man. Yeah, we lost Lorenzo, guys. <laughs> you can't really see. I'm not seeing right now. But oh man, people are driving. Street corner is full of fucking tents, man. Of people out here living on the streets, man. It's a uh, it's a good reminder. Fucking not do drugs, kids. <laughs> Oh shit, here we go again. So, Levi, we, uh, we just hope met can see this. another group of about like 20 or so, and they're pushing from waterfront to, uh, People are throwing shit at every cop that comes by. Oh, so we're crossing the bridge back towards MLK. So Soul's group is over there. I gotta turn the other way. blast the message that way. So there's another group coming towards him. Here, guys. What bridge is this? We're passing. We're passing over Morrison. Mr. Montfey. Fuck the police! We're pushing over Morrison right now. 
man, I lost Lorenzo, you guys. Alright, looks like I'm flying to again. Oh, oh man, just a sec, I gotta climb up. The dude's saying few protesters are burning fucking homeless encampments and shit. For this dumpster? <laughs> So this group is, I like, they're trying to promote the, uh, hands up shit. The chopper is over us. Oh shit, yeah, they're pushing right towards us. Fuck the ball leads. Fuck the ball leads. That's right, we're going home. Oh! The cops are fucking shooting people for no fucking reason. We were just standing there. The world is watching. We just saw you fucking drive by us, you pigs. The cops literally just fucking drive by, flash bang us. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. We're uh. Trying to uh, move across this bridge and meet up with another protest. We're part of a peaceful group of protests, but uh, Ten four. <coughs> they're blocking us. It seems there is some kind of uh, here uh, between groups of protesters and uh, trying to uh, meet more. Uh, 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 I'm not sure that they was, but. These fucking folks out here, out here for the wrong reasons. Look at him, dude. That dude's car. Look at this fucking punk. Hack. Wow, the people are fucking moving. Fuck, dude. There's nowhere to go. All angles. Okay, lots of people running. Looters. How are we doing back Yo, please share this video, you guys. Share, share, share. The world needs to see this. I haven't seen any news media. There is no news here. Please share this video. <laughs> Who are these fucking people who are getting this chat, dude? The fireworks go off in the middle of the street. <laughs> Asking and then that's the when we were hearing those flash bangs, so you can yeah, still see I'll there are check, dozens homie. of folks Perfect. over in this general oh. area right here. Um, I'm trying to get my bearings really quick as to which street I'm at. Sorry, it's very easy to get turned around. Police are going behind us, but there was also just a riot van uh, with police along the sides of it here oh, where right. we're walking up oh, to yeah. now. Again, we are at dude. Southwest 5th yeah. and Taylor okay, here. You can see some police coming through the intersection. Your a number of people are running um, fucking towards we, us Anybody who's talking shit on here is going to get banned from the stream. And, um... Y'all are oh, fucking but sitting at home from the safety of your goddamn number, computers and sit here and talk shit. Like get out here and make Thank a you, Chris. I saw a number man. of fireworks. What that was. You can also feel the tear gas still in the I'm air. I'm not looting. Uh, I'm not fucking attacking anybody. You pretty much feel that in a lot of areas uh, of downtown. There's people right out right here that are doing what well, you guys told me that I'm fucking... I don't stand for that. You and Nazi. Far right. So, yeah, people are popping up in pockets. Not everyone is at home. Substantially sure less than we've seen in the last yeah. couple of hours. We definitely <laughs> see, saw thousands at one point uh, down by the Justice Center, uh, City Hall, between City Hall and Justice Center, and now that's less than there's about. Damn, uh, this corner is fucking crazy right now. We see groups. We're gonna kind of move down this way. Keep pushing. The road a little bit. Oh boy. Rubber bullets. Rubber bullets. Rubber bullets. Yeah, so now we're getting back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lots of tear gas. <laughs> What's up, bro? Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, ye
to. But, uh, this is where a lot of that Hey, bang, bangs, They're shooting us. So we are looking down the road that would be Let me know what you say. A little bit further uh, than here we were just earlier this evening, but that just seems to be the focus right now. Um, That's why I swear to God, man. I was like, yo, we need to be walking around. Over here is our place. We also see a riot van of police coming off the road. You can see a tear gas canister going off. No, I just got you out of the road. Down that direction. We're going to back up. Somebody help me find the milk. You see them, though, coming up the road. And this is generally where you start seeing them spraying pepper spray and tear gas. There's another firework for you. There's also another tear gas all right there. So this is the end. There's a couple of them. I don't even know where to go. I don't know where to save. Police officers here with their tear gas canisters. Um, and they are uh, moving through here. Uh, there are a couple of them here, but you, you can see the number of canisters that they use. There's work. easily four Does anybody or five else just in our general area. I don't know. And this is how oh, they're getting people do you need, to do you need water Anytime milk? that they see groups Sir, of people, water they start uh, spraying that out. So I have, you I have can water. see that tear gas. I'm going to go okay. back again a little bit because... Yeah. I don't want us to be in the middle of it, but exactly how they're trying to get these uh, 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 things to uh, 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 I'd say just the same. Uh, protesters and demonstrators. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I mean, follow the screen. Sorry, I'm sorry. I was very quickly also throwing back at them. Oh, yeah. I got you. So, um, no, so I There's so much going on right now. I think to where a soul is at right now. Uh, wherever the cross here is, I want to say they're all leading us to close to MLK. Where we're talking about. Oh, really? I'm good. I'm good. Right. I'm good. It's like a bunch they of only hurt there. when I touch them. Like if I, if I rub my eyes, that's when it hurts. I need to stop doing that. I'm good. I'm perfectly safe. I'm perfectly, yeah, I'm good. Thank you guys for, for uh, I'm out of breath though. <laughs> That's the only part that's not good. Are you okay, bro? I need some water. Let me drink some water real quick. Give me a second. Medic! <laughs> Anyone got water? No? You seem a little extra vivid right now. Oh, they're coming down. They're coming down. Oh, man. Really? 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 Hey, this guy's got milk, man. Right here. Hey, can we get some milk? Milk, this guy, please. Thank you. The rubber bullet didn't kill her. I've been hit by a paintball gun. That's where we're headed, bro. Oh yeah, just this time, huh? Maybe this crossbow on the bridge. <laughs> East to cool. MLK. There you go. Look at this guy. You know where I'm at, Levi? East Commerce Bank. Nice. Who are you with? Uh, uh, PDX and Capital. Uh, Dude, no. <laughs> Marco, I appreciate that. <laughs> you can rob with me. <laughs> Definitely. A couple thousand viewers. Hey! <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, this is quite no, an interesting train of people. 
Yes. Dude, there's no media here. I think Fox and all those guys left. I saw a different other guys. Uh, I can't <laughs> see him. Nice to actually see him. Yeah, right. Damn. As long as we got her. Are you out here by yourself? Me too. Yeah, we don't want to. I saw a Yeah, I was going to go around today. I'll split up and see if I think I'm going to lock this out. You want to join me? Do this press. Member of the press. Press coming through, watch out. We are all members of the press. Press! We are the press, baby. You are the press. As long as you record. <laughs> you're a member of the press, but you don't have a camera. Then you're allowed to be out by the daddy, big daddy government. Appreciate you doing this, man. What's going on at Waterfront, you guys? I got uh, 1,100 viewers and people are saying go to Waterfront. Seems like Waterfront. So Y'all watch and share this. So everybody can see what's really happening in Portland, Oregon. The more people we have, the more influence we have, the more powerful we are. We came down to here at least 5,000, 6,000 people. We had 4,000 viewers at one point. We outnumber them. I want everybody to know that. What's your name, man? Had we been a little more organized, there would have been no way they could have fought us off. Windows straight through the wall. Now, this is had just we... bullshit, man. This is just some mom pod diner. If we, if we had the protective gear they had, they wouldn't stand a fucking even close to chance. So, if we would have just had that, we would have been good. We have uh, just made our way out of the not really sure where we're at. Rest in peace, Lorenzo, run. wherever you are out there, brother. Small group of us has stopped. Oh, you're safe, man. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. You're good, man. Uh, the smell of two again. I'm trying to read these comments. I got split up. I got split up. All my friends, I don't know where they at. I'm trying to figure it out. Dude, did you see them like fucking drive by them? Yeah, I got it. You okay? What are you? First time? <laughs> There's about to be tear gas that way too, bro. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Grinch. Bro. Thank you, Lily, for sharing. Everybody who's watching. Everybody who's watching, follow my page right now. There's a there's a button at the bottom. You'll be able to click and follow my page or exit out and follow my page real quick. I will be covering this all week if I have to. Every single day. If I have to come back tomorrow, I will be here. If I have to come back the next day, I will be here. I will cover this every week. Dude, they were driving all week, every time. Oh, in the tan truck? Yeah, dude, I got hit in the chest. I was looking at him like that, are that's a rubber bullet. Yeah, I know. How many people are still downtown? I don't know. I don't know where everybody's at. Everybody got split up in a bunch of different groups. But at the same time, the police are all split up too. Looks like shit's in the fan up here. I need to figure out where everybody's at. I'm not alone, I got y'all. I'm not alone, I got y'all. I appreciate everybody who's watching, every single person who shared this, who's viewing from home, who are fighting the battle from home. People, what's going on at Waterfront? I just got too much tear gas that way. Make sure you're screen recording. Uh, why don't we have one more block this way? Oh, shit. Oh, Thank you, David, man. for the follow. I appreciate you, man. Uh, I wish you guys could do this. What do you need to hear? Name? Jedi? J? J? Yeah, we need to find. Dude, I had a homie called Lorenzo. Oh, we should follow him around. And, uh, dude, the three of us together would be fucking power trio, man. We need to find that motherfucker. Do you like water? Oh, you see the tear gas coming out? 
No, that's just smoke. Earlier, that was on fire. And, uh, dude, some good Samaritan cleaned it up and, like, put it out. Here's the milk. Sheesh. Yeah, I found some milk, dude. I used to come here. I used to come to this store and look at their hats. They have designer hats here. I used to come here and look at their hats. You guys all did a great job. We're the uh, we're what's up? Hell yeah. What's up with you, man? Nice to meet you. Oh, what's that? What's up? That's what's up. They're going to my mom, too. What's up? Nice to meet you. Thank you for, for coming down here and fighting. Blameless Dry Chamber, CS. Nah. Oh. Well. <laughs> Good old healthy aerosol C vapor. Look, do you see off. this? Oh, it's everywhere. Oh, shit. dry chamber. Oh, yes. Look, look, it's wet and took luggage. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. This is what I got hit with yesterday. This is a flash grenade. This is it, man. Hey, thank you for the donation, bro. Yeah, I appreciate that for real. I got a flash grenade. Yeah, I'm keeping it. <laughs> okay, guys, my phone is going to die any second. I got to walk back to the Justice Center and uh, grab my portable charger. Let me see if I can find it this way. Really need to roll the shot. Okay, guys, if my phone dies, make sure to follow me. I will broadcast as soon as I can. My phone's only about 5%. And I will be here to document what's happening. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Please follow, follow, follow. Thank you. Thank you. George Floyd. That shit was bullshit. They did that shit on purpose. Dude, I don't know. Thank you, James, for the donation. There, if you turn to the, go up one block and turn to the right, I saw a bunch of people there. Okay. I see my car. <laughs> and I have a horrible job. Yes. Tommy, thank you for the donation too. We're trying to avoid situations like this where this dumpster fire um, happened, but see, even now I'm noticing a large group of people kind of walking our direction. So we're going to head just towards the way that they're going, see what they're doing. Um, they seem to be heading down towards Pioneer Post, which you know became a real focus of a lot of this the other night. You can see the Louis Vuitton store that did get looted and broken. Uh, windows, that's there. You can see it all boarded up now, obviously, but still just quite a bit ahead of us here in the next couple of blocks. You go you're seeing the groups gathering again, and then you, of course, see those red and blues down the road. Um, here on the ground right here, Rodney, another one of those canisters. Um, you can see... Okay, thank you for the donation. I appreciate that. What's up, Soul? 
What's up? For people who are asking what the donations are for, they're optional. You guys can choose to donate or not. I will be using some of the proceeds to buy stuff for the protest. Today I bought. What's up with you? So this is likely where we usually see. I know it is. What's up with you, bro? Good to see you down here. Yeah, you too, bro. Be safe. Hey, what's up? What's up, y'all? What's good? Y'all be safe. What's up with you? Y'all be safe. And it was like I was saying, I bought a bunch of like towers and water. Be a Those canisters to get them to disperse. People are saying that the screen is basically you can also hear them repeating that there is Are you down here right now? Are you still down here? And that this is now considered unlawful. And then thank you, Talia. I appreciate you so much. Again. And then just as you generally turn corners, you start to see them coming up other streets. We're about to see them pass again. They just trying to make sure nobody hits that store. They already broke into it. Honestly, around this general area from everywhere. Nobody's worried about that store, but that store does have good hats. I'm not going to cap. You can see the flashing lights coming yet again. So you're going to see them pass Chester, thank you for the donation. This is what they've been doing. Thank you so much. This is kind of their routine, if you will, for the last couple of hours. They find... This is live from Portland, Oregon. If you just are now tuning in, everybody share this. If you've already shared on your personal pages, you can also share it to the group that you're in. It doesn't matter what group it is. It could be a group about hair, it could be a group about nails, it could be a group about anything. Everybody has to see this. Everybody has to see that Portland was represented, a peaceful protest, and they still fired on it. Yeah, just one sec, guys. Alina, thank you so much for the pro the for the uh, for the donation. I appreciate that so much. And they've now just done a circle in our general. A couple area. totally casual looking so, dudes passing by. They are now right, yeah, moving around boys. looking for groups, assholes, trying to get people to the schools and break up. Right now, you'll see those yeah, all the And um, Stay strong. And then you'll see them Stay strong. First, but again, you do see like this man across the street putting his arms up whenever police come by, just to kind of signify if they're walking home. Or okay. Okay. Yeah. I got If you can, just down the Stay strong. You can see the fog still. Fox. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I don't think you guys heard that, but it's kind of like a fucking so bomb just went off. You know, I spoke down there still, and you kind of see those pockets just moving throughout the city, and no doubt about it, you absolutely feel that as well. Want me to so, that, um, that I'm good, really thank you, bro. happening out here, guys. Lee, can you really kind of kind of hit the nail on the head, if you will? That these groups are popping up. They're just moving in. They're dispersing them. They're coming back up. They're dispersing. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can. Yeah, can I walk with you guys? Is, um, I'm here alone. Now, past curfew, Thanks, and this is not considered a live action. We got 800 people so watching. Dude, yeah, I got one too. They're fucking heavy, bro, and they yeah. fucking shoot them at you. Dude, I got it. They don't care. Yeah. This is a large bank behind us now. I've got police coming in our direction. Yeah. <laughs> Coming down this way, you can see a, a large yeah. 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 Hey, you think that I do shut it? Yeah, dude, we were talking to the police. Yeah, I bet you they, there's some teenagers too. Just be careful, man. If they see people out here, like in the drive, they will fucking drive by. Hey. Anybody who was donating when I when that shit happened, I, I couldn't see it. But if you did donate, I appreciate it, everybody. Tomorrow, I'll be buying a, shit ton of, a bunch of stuff again. If I have to go out and buy right here with the shit you guys got time for an interview? I'm doing that. Let me know. Let me know. I just don't know where to get it. But I need y'all uh, to message me shit that I should get for tomorrow. I know there was a bunch of shit that I should have got today that okay, I, I just couldn't think of. I got hand towels, water, milk, food, rubber bullets, uh, goggles. I didn't know what else to get.
Let me know what else I need to go. Where else I need to go, what else I need to get for tomorrow. Just in case we have to do this tomorrow. All your donations made a difference. I'm about to stop the fuck up on shit if we have to do this again tomorrow. Skyler, thank you so much for the donation too. That's all we need. We just need right here like they have. That's all we need. As you can see, uh, Matt Craig gonna walk my us through. You I can just see the amount and then the of graffiti that, that is lining the walls the here. It is truly immensive on the floor, on the walls, if on anybody the knows, if anybody knows, the ceiling, but at the very someone least, down here that onto has the glass. Oh, man, the shooting is really spread out here. And this is obviously where we saw um, <laughs> a lot know. of the protesters uh, here for the past couple of hours and what they were gathered doing. So it was a very active time for the past couple of hours as folks were were uh, gathered around here, and so you see some of the results it's of like what was happening, movie, and uh, clearly a lot yeah, that will need to be cleaned up uh, in the days to come, guys. First time. Hey, Dan, I wanted to ask you, earlier tonight, um, Portland Police tweeted out that protesters had broken windows at the federal courthouse, and then they okay. said that protesters this had entered the building, and they corrected that to say that no one had like entered the building, earlier, but too. Thank you. they didn't clarify whether They're windows good. Thank at the federal you. courthouse had actually been broken. Are you seeing any from where you are? Not from what I'm seeing, yeah, but you know what, why don't we just keep walking down and we can see for ourselves if anything has been broken. Um, but no, from Message the looks of things, all I'm seeing is graffiti lining the glass and the walls here. I have not noticed any broken glass, and as I continue to walk down this line here, Dude, no, uh, honestly, it doesn't it. appear to be the case yeah. from what we've seen. Just obviously spray canisters, a few just started just Niggas, we, let them know. Popper, just a little. Oh, oh, all you need is a little bitch, and that shit will fuck you up. It will fuck you up, goddammit. I'm telling you. I was talking with Allison earlier how, again, for lack of a better explanation, it's as if uh, police law enforcement are pursuing small pockets of protesters kind of throughout the downtown area now. Is that kind of what it's like where you are as well? Uh, it's been actually very, very quiet where we've been. I mean, obviously we have been close to a pretty large police presence here. Um, so be the list, guys. With that in mind, that might be part of the reason. Uh, Man, but I hope you guys outside of the Justice fly. Center and behind the Justice Center where we've been uh, for the past 20 minutes or so, there have really been those donations. just one or two people that we've Message run into the, list of, of the entire that time that we've been here. So it is right now. significantly quiet and talented. And it's going to be hell to that that we saw the outside of the Justice trying Center to figure out what y'all were saying. Ago. So okay, Dan McCarthy, uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. So much. I know you're keeping track of a lot of uh, different things down there. Uh, this is the view from <laughs> Chopper 2 right now. Um, Yo, here they come. Again, we're just seeing these pockets of police officers. <laughs> Rubber bullets. Rubber bullets. Just don't get spotted, dude. They're fucking drive by hitting people. So, people, there they are right there. We got some cops right here, They wouldn't be able to overthrow Look at that. Look at that. They're posted. Look at that, they're posted. Oh, they're posted right there. They're about to do some damage out here. Are you okay? The swap, man. They got yeah, you good? Can you tell us what happened? That is crazy, y'all. See what happens, y'all. They're doing smoke bombs and everything, people. Shout out to her, y'all. She, she's protesting and taking it, y'all. Some of these Glenn, protesters the are out there. They're, they're taking the consequence. Like oh, shit. shit. I'm out. <laughs> these are the guys that are hey, hey, hey. trying to get yeah, I ain't trying to get shot again. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'll let you get shot, not me. Yeah, man. Look at you. People, he brought out the oh, guns. Like Look at it. He's like, he's like, somebody please oh, shoot shit. me. Y'all, we some of Jesus. Make sure everybody's screen recording. Right. It's yeah. clips in the morning. <coughs> yeah, I don't even want to go up there. It just, it just feels like they're waiting. Megaphone. Ugh. Good one. We need more megaphones. We only have like three yeah, people with megaphones tonight. It's getting dangerous, y'all. Get well. They all say get well. Oh, that's fresh. Oh! Hey! There it is! Hey, he got pussy. You know he get pussy. Look at this. You know he get 
of demonstrators who have sort of dispersed around the city and it appears that police are um, putting quick <coughs> on their tails. They're about to light it stop right It seems like they are the police understand in certain areas that we have more power than them. And, uh, and that every time that they kill somebody out of police brutality when they didn't deserve it, they will stand up and right fight here, them again. Man. This kid keeps throwing shit. That's when we'll stop protesting. That's when I'll stop protesting. I can't speak for everybody else. If I have to be down here by myself, if I have to stand in front of the Justice Center every single time somebody gets killed by police brutality, I'll do it I ha if I have to, until it's over. Are you okay? Rich, thank you for the dono. Porta potty. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is urban warfare for sure, guys. Eye drops. Is I, do eye drops work? You guys share this, please. Share this, share this, share this. Nice comments, it's all good. I appreciate you guys for watching, even the haters. The haters are contributing too by watching. Man, they're about to team up on this guy. Oh shit. <laughs> I know Facebook is trying to get people to, to uh, not be able to watch. That's why my, uh, my, my numbers are dropping. Yo, please share this. Please share. Share. What the fuck? They're censoring. They're censoring my the life right now. Cop just threw a fucking they're censoring my life because they don't want y'all to know the truth. We were just fucking standing there and the cop threw a goddamn flash grenade at me. Well, we already know the truth. <laughs> fucking punk I need ass a favor pigs. For you were? Hell yeah. Thank you guys. This is why this shit is not all hey, fucking appreciate K, it. man. Hey, I need a favor from shit. everybody. Tomorrow, camera. when you see we just people making their statuses talking about we were being, shoot, being destructive again, and we were breaking fucking, and all that extra that, shit, I need you to put them in their place, please. All you got to do is comment and be like, no, I this saw it and that that's not how it happened. I saw that there would be a peaceful. I just need that from you. 50 cops on one guy. Huh? Punk ass bitches. I have no clue. Who's toe Andy? Yeah, they're stopping people from being able to watch my live. A bunch of people are coming right now. What's up, man? What's up, bro? What's good? Are leaving and are heeding those warnings, getting out of here. Others who are experiencing that tear gas and that that burn, which really is undeniable, are really trying to wash it out. And then sometimes for them, too, they're going home. But we are seeing just a little bit of damage popping up. Not as much as we have seen. So we're going to come this way. And they're running this way. But you can see glass shattered on the ground. Police now making their way onto our street again. And like I said, this is just what keeps happening. They want people to go home. They're just making the rounds. They're asking people to leave. And then, generally speaking, just tear gas, less than lethal force is used trying to get people out. But here's some of that damage I was talking about. You can see just None shattered glass all destructed. on the ground. You can None see now a recycle bin up in that window. And the window broken. Now a little bit further down. If we come down the road here, Thank you, Dustin. I appreciate you, man. I can't believe this shit. For standing with us. And, um, or Pioneer Courthouse Mall. Here we go. And this was really the focus uh, of things. Let me message uh, the group. Friday, hey, 
And yeah, something you guys, I noticed just a few shot. minutes this ago is that we're trying this. to break down those boards we share that we were up, 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 after Friday, trying to get but back I'm about to end this, so I need everybody again. who's watching yeah, you can see to click that it's follow button, button because every bit. single time that we come out Obviously here, I'll be live and I'll be front and center reporting it. This guy trying to break a, a lock to get in. Appreciate y'all fighting the fight from home. So, again, over here, Pioneer has broken into it, so that looted. wood piece right there, and then more police, of course, coming up the wall or up the street as they as they come run, down this run. road, looking for groups and trying to disperse them. And usually, when you they go see home. people congregating, is when they start. We'll go home when uh, you go home. Making making decisions to put out that tear gas, which you can really still feel heavy, really heavy in the air. Yeah, my uh, Facebook name is Sol Luna, S-O-L, and then so now space we're stopping. You can see someone running by them. They're gonna, right here. You hear some bro breaking glass. Oh, someone just broke. Cash, come on, I'm Cash. I'm just reading the comments right now. This is a gentleman we spoke to earlier. Thank you, Ivy. Um, but you can see them confronting people as people come up to them, asking them to back up, come home. What's up? Go home, that sort of thing. Also behind us, someone yeah, was able to get SOL. some of that wood paneling down. Oh, no, uh, SOL. And break glass over there again. That's Pioneer Square as well. This one? So, yeah. um, obviously you can see even turn back around, you know. Police are you, trying you. to get people to break up, move along. Hunter, thank you for the you donation. Them, a couple of different, these are state troopers in our area right now. But that tear gas is pretty heavy. Mm. Um, and you can the really shit. feel it. That's it. not what we're here for. There's a, canister you can see over here coming out of this garbage can yeah we were peaceful protests and they started shooting at us and then back. people just started Let's breaking shit at that guys, moment this man. is where that um glass i heard shatter yeah and you can see it someone was able to get that board down this is pioneer place yeah and actually and actually walk and yeah, you can see that shattered glass now so, that's what we wanted i'm not sure that, that, that they was couldn't, they didn't have the decency to do that to get into anywhere but might be a stairwell of some sort but yeah, you can just see the shattered glass there, guys. Someone was able to rip down what it looks like a really thick piece of plywood. So, also, I'm not quite sure if this is a fire or a smoke bomb or something, but this garbage can is clearly smoking over here. So things are pretty fluid. Less people by a long shot, I would absolutely say, but we keep seeing yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, different things pop up. I was here yesterday. I don't know if you've been here Yeah, I've seen that. They were talking shit to you guys, and I'm like, look, they don't... Yeah. yeah, man, these are the guys that keep drive by and everyone. So, mm. Drive by rubber bullets. Mm. You just security. <laughs> sure. Hey, this thing, man. What's up with you, bro? Oh, bro. No, bro. Exactly, bro. It is. Hey, I was watching this shit. I wanted to get your shit. No, I've been watching this shit the past few days. Oh, no. Your shit. Yeah. We're obviously getting a very good shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they going to get close to you and stop there? Yeah, They're absolutely, bro. There. I appreciate well, you for real. Thank you, bro. They fucking shoved me over here. Here, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm fine. What's up? Um, All right, bet. That eulogy for George Floyd, and it was at Terry Shrimp Plaza, just down the ways from where I am standing. This is chaos in the streets right now. Oh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Graffiti and boarding up, and then down back around the side. some people are looting over here. All the way down the road, it's boarded up. Now this is a place that. I spent a lot of time in my life, whether reporting or, or broadcasting. Yo, where in this is the area. group, guys? And, and so it is strange. It is uh, overwhelming. Um, talking to people tonight has been really overwhelming. I know that this is something that touches our communities, especially our communities of color. Booty call here, people. He got that booty call. Uh, if anyone Jennifer, knows, thank you so much for the donations. Comment on there. It has been difficult. But I think the other thing that's hard to see is I've never seen our town this way. Um, obviously, we have seen riots. Uh, we've seen um, we've seen we've seen many riots. Uh, I've covered many riots here in Portland. 
Yeah, you guys commenting, please don't worry about me. This is the fourth day I've been out here. But it is. It can be eerie. The other thing I'll say that was eerie. This is Portland, Oregon. This was a, this started off as a peaceful protest and it ended sour just like it did yesterday. Man, I need me some num nums. I'm hungry as fuck. All this protesting. That's all right. People keep saying waterfront. Can anybody verify that? Like, don't just comment waterfront. Say waterfront. I'm seeing it now. Because apparently the 7-Eleven is the most intense spot right now. And I've seen it with my own two eyes. We got it here. That's why. <laughs> the energy is fucking ridiculous down here. What's up, man? Oh yeah. I hear out, fight the fight. You've been out here every day too. I don't see you out here. Mm -hmm. I've seen this live you get the what I think it is. I appreciate everybody watching for real. We both out here. Mm -hmm. It's first line to look, you need to right now, you feel me? We're getting it. We out here fighting the fight. Everybody everybody viewing from home is fighting with us. Appreciate everybody. Sorry. I gave away all the food that I had. I had a bunch of snacks and shit. I just, I, I gave them away to the people. I brought, I, I was prepared. I brought food this time, but I didn't think about saving it for myself. I'd rather everybody else have it. Because I could always wait. I could wait till I'm home. How do you feel about things continuing to progress tonight? Are you okay with still being out here right now? I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Willa. You don't you have to that's right there? Way, Damn. Enough is enough. They got the luggage store secured, man. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, shit. How do you feel about seeing all these people that came uh, out in support of this? How do you feel about that? It just questions. It, it just questions a lot of things. They want us to go no, home. Well, we are home. This is what we fighting for. What would y'all do? James, I appreciate you, bro. It's the same way. The same way. What would y'all do? That sounds gas. A lot of people we've been talking to have been saying they want this to be peaceful. That is what they want. What message is it that you want? We've been peaceful please, too long. Please, please, please share this video. Whatever it takes. That's all I gotta say. Thank you so much. Stay well and stay safe. So, guys, we're going to show you the rest of this area over here. We're right over on 4th Avenue, and you can see, Follow if you take a look a at this dumpster the across the way, that was lit on fire earlier. There's a button on the bottom. I'll be covering this every day. I'll be down here every day. Thank you, Emily. I appreciate you as well. <laughs> Jaden, Jaden, I got some goggles now. Someone found some glasses and gave them to me. These might be the, these might be the ones that I dropped earlier, honestly. Yeah. Don't shoot! Good shit, man. Don't you too. Shoot! Don't shoot! So that's the message that we've been hearing from Portland This is Portland, Oregon, downtown. Where are the other the streamers? Is the other streamer Soul? I'll share this live. If anyone can point me to Soul. Y'all watch share this live. Hit the follow button. There's a button down at the bottom. Hit that follow That's button. That's a little bitch right there. It threw the fucking flash grenade at me. Oh, bitch. Fuck cops. Fuck that cop, little bitch. I'll be covering this away. every day. Threw a goddamn flash grenade at me. Where'd my mask go? I'm stupid. All right, what am I doing? I took my mask off.
suck my dick. Here's a couple of cops walking by. I hope they don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Ben Copeland. Yo, I really hope you guys are screen recording this. I'm pretty sure I just documented a whole lot of police brutality. These thugs right here in the white van. Those are the guys that fucking drive by shot me with rubber bullets. I can't hear you! What? I Fuck are those guys going, dude? <laughs> Why would over the windows and shit? They'd have like gates over their fucking uh, I'm good, their thank businesses you. and shit, and that would be tagged up. Nigga shot fucking rubber bullets at me for putting my hand in the air. You shot, you shot at me for putting my hands in the air. I get out of my car when my hands are. Got me fucked up. Bunch of them coming through here. Okay, if they shoot me and arrest me, guys, please. Nigga, have my hand in the air. You're gonna shoot at me. I'm one person standing right here. Put my hands in the air. You're gonna shoot at me, nigga? You finna shoot at me with my hand in the air? Are you fucking serious? Pussy ass. What would happen if I had the fucking, if I had the same fucking shit as you? If I had right here on two? See me one on one, pussy. That just pissed me the fuck off. This ain't about me though. I need to chill out. This ain't about me. This ain't about me. I ain't dead yet, so this ain't about me. Why do, why do black folk? feel comfortable and that's and not saying hey that's a black it's business a don't touch this because you're not active in this community you know you're not making a difference i drop my so glasses again if you're if i don't know if you're not making a difference like Look at if you're not out here you're not helping the cause <laughs> then Damn. you're against the cause at the end of the day but i don't care about the looting at the end of the day for major corporations they can get it back what really happened care. in front of the 7-Eleven a few minutes you ago? I know you made a was point to say, hey, I know you're showing the graffiti, but like, look at what, look at what I'm doing. Look at yeah. the effort to clean. Like, I'm it, sorry, I didn't mean to yell. No, no, no. Of course, no. We want to have this conversation with you because we want to make Cut sure my hand that, in the that air. we are getting the right message out that you're trying to show as That's well. That's some pussy but, ass. If there's anything else you'd like to add while you have the opportunity, we'd love to hear. If I had a gun though, if I had a gun though, when I saw you one on one, probably has to stop one way or another. If it was vice versa, if you yeah, know, I'm gonna run up a little bit. Cops, in case like these they're killing us. Drive by me. This shit wouldn't happen. We wouldn't. Where they at? Oh, you recorded that? This wouldn't be yeah. happening. Yeah. 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 You know, it wouldn't be like this. So at the end of the day, like, if you, even if it doesn't affect you, if you know, if you're a white person, you don't care about you like. Just say something, like, just say something, Yo, people something. keep telling me don't, to run for solo, what is the point turn, for that? Don't turn your head, because I'd rather have us dispersed in different areas watching shit. It's gonna keep you happening if you let it, so. Well, Alana, thank you so much. Look. Stay safe out here. I'm sorry for yelling okay, I'm at sorry. you guys. I'm glad, I'm glad you got our attention, seriously. That's just corny as fuck, we're standing here on the sidewalk. You know, there's positives out here, even though it's very overshadowed by the Thank y'all for screen recording that. Please send that to me. Anybody who's screen recording that. I'm glad that we can show that, seriously. Chop it up and send it to me. I'm trying to find these glasses. That's why I'm staying in the same spot. 
And so, again, just, just on one side of the street to the other, you can see the, the two sides of this coin. I mean, obviously, many, many sides going on in a night like Fuck. this. But obviously, like the efforts here are being done to clean up uh, in a night that's still ongoing right, guys, with make police sure presence. Glasses, uh, because because some signs of positivity as well. So might die, from they're just clear. They're just regular glasses. Back to you guys. So please make Dan sure McCarthy, follow. thank you so much. Some people may find please, it corny, but it just made me think of Mr. Rogers saying, find the helpers or look for the helpers in a time of crisis. She's a helper. Uh, definitely. Let's talk to uh, Kelly Ozer, also downtown. Kelly? I'm detained. Hi, sorry guys. Yeah, see, we were just talking a second ago about anyone being detained. I did just see uh, they've got a couple of people in. here. They've just put someone. Um, you gonna shoot at me again? Here's in the back of the car. Again? You can see Yo, right guys, here. I don't want to find Saul because he's doing um, his I'm thing. From folks that they and uh, this I'm doing my thing. I'd rather have uh, the both sure of us separated and getting different Rodney, perspectives. Watch yourself so there's no for point a second, in please, but... two streamers being next to each other. Um, so this is this is what's been happening. We've seen this at a couple of blocks now, just within the last few minutes. Police are driving around as they see anyone. Um, I've seen a couple of people pick up like cones and um, uh, parking kind of those large orange cones and direction signs. And as they pick those up and start charging at them, then the police officers do get out of their vehicle and chase those folks down. We've seen that a couple of times. For the most part, we've seen people just drop um, whatever they have in their hand, and um, then that's, they, they run and get away at that point. But here in this, this foot traffic. see this person. Man, I'm so sorry if you guys own this business. Uh, hands behind her back, and also... Um, this is fucking bullshit, man. man. So I'm not sure what... These are the business this, owners right now. But um, they are talking... These fucking nice uh, gentlemen just got their business destroyed. How do you um, feel about it, man? Obviously, a couple of people are gathering here watching. So you saw them? They like I couldn't see them. Is that I must be blind. Uh, uh, right it's a that fucking tragedy, man. Oh, we need to find a group. It appears to just be one person who is uh, Pioneer? being yeah. Let's go there. at this point. But they're having a conversation, checking pockets. We're going to keep fucking shooting at us while we by ourselves. We might as well get in a group. Just around us in the blocks, there are a few more police officers. Just even up the street a little bit, there's also more flashing lights. Police no, I'm with a bro. In that direction as well. One We're of the boys right now. We're standing at the corner of Fourth and Alder. Nope, I'm sorry. Fourth and Morrison. And that's where this is happening. Obviously, they're still... Hell yeah, thank you! Vehicles driving around and navigating this, but this is becoming a uh, looking loose situation. There's a couple of folks standing behind us as well. So I'm not going to be too surprised if at some point we get moved. Oh, God, bro. Um, no, dead ass, bro. I'm not trying to have them have to grow up and go through this. Hey. And it was just us, nigga, just standing on the corner. Me with my hand in the air like this. I'm wondering just your perception of the size of these pockets, are they still being reduced in number as the night gets later? Uh, give us your perception. Uh, yeah, I would definitely say yes. Um, so, so obviously, hey, that we that saw is thousands of people in that park area near Terry Shrunk and then over by you know, the Justice Center, all of that. Yeah, then as those flashbangs you do? Yeah. went off, people the first, people dropped down to, I would say, you know, dozens of groups of uh, people. And now I'm seeing far less. I'm seeing these make their rounds. There's easily dozen people standing with us right now. But I'm seeing less of the pockets pop up. So that's, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go home. home. But you guys keep shooting at me. I was by myself and you guys shot at me. I, you guys shot at me with my hand in the air. How do you feel about that? Less and less people. How do you feel about that? night has gone on, we've stayed within probably eight blocks, maybe three up and down and side to side. And it's definitely lessened, but uh, police presence is still pretty heavy here. They're still all around. You can see a conversation. Y'all shot at me with my hand in the air. Someone walked up to ask a question. And they're now having a conversation. So that's just one de one detainment that we've seen or arrest that we've seen this evening. Um, we have heard that there have been a number of them. We've seen police show up to where we're at. We've seen people start trying to charge at officers and their vehicles carrying um, 
large got kicked out had to come back like facebook's trying to, trying to censor it they're trying to censor my facebook my uh my live right now as soon as police stop that's when they get out of the vehicle and they start charging at these uh, individuals and that's when people drop whatever they're carrying and they run my homie lives right downtown that, it looks like that person was loaded up that's where i'm going but there's still a pretty good group of people we're going home Stop yeah. shooting at people! Uh, people actually live so down these here. It's just kind of keep popping up. Going home very slowly. Or if something happens, they will obviously arrest someone. But then also, if you're sorry, we're going to twist around with the intake quarters. Just down the road, you can also see a number of flashing lights. More police officers. Right, that's on fire right there. We're kind of making our way down there when we saw this. And then now you can see a little bit of tension right here. So this guy's. First doing parties. I'm still gonna do my parties once this lockdown's over. But right now I gotta fight for my I gotta fight for my kids' future. Both of them. Did y'all see how we backed them the fuck up? How we pulled up on the police and we backed them up and they were walking backwards. That just shows if we had the same right gear as them, they don't stand a chance. If we had the, the proper the proper protection. They, they don't stand a, a chance. Of people saying that there's a lot of tear gas. We've seen that in a number of situations. We've now seen at least one person be arrested. Um, again, I'm not sure what led to that, but I have seen police charge of people a couple of times tonight whenever they seem to be coming at them with any sort of um, uh, cone or something like that. We know that. Damage. We've also seen people trying to break into these buildings that were already broken into earlier this weekend, also setting off a number of fireworks. There seems to be a little bit of a here as well. I'm too nervous of a person to go speak on the news. <coughs> to go speak on the news. And now they're asking him to back up to the sidewalk. I slip over my words all the time. Y'all been hearing me. Y'all been hearing me. I'm too nervous to even speak to y'all. Groups of, of people popping up, and then it causes this. You also have people who honk their horns trying to get through. <laughs> And this is really what we've been seeing in the night, but this kind of shows you that whole grouping. Usually we would have seen like a little bit of a bigger group pop up at this point, and this is a much smaller group here. And so I think that that just kind of speaks to the fact that things are dying down. are still focused on getting people to go home and to get out of here. Guys, we can send it back into you for now. Uh, Kelly, we'll keep your shot, though, uh, just to uh, <laughs> watch this um, uh, interaction between some of those protesters and really police officers. I do want to share the latest uh, Portland Police Week. This still was about <clears throat> 17 minutes ago, so it's a, a little ways ago. But the latest update from Portland Police saying small groups continue to travel around downtown damaging the property. This continues to be an unlawful assembly. I know. I caught them people busting my window on my side. Kelly, I know we're watching. So we've just seen another we've seen just another SUV of uh, police pop up in riot here. Um, about probably a dozen or so of them got off the uh, SUV. Now we see more police coming in and coming out. Uh, and they're trying to push them back, trying to get them to disperse. I think we're going to move just to this man see just a little bit better of the altercation and what's going Interesting. On. I wonder now why we can't be over there. What are you guys hiding? Folks are getting in the face what are you hiding? Police. And what they were upset about... Um, what they were upset about is they wanted to cross the street where this altercation was happening, they're, and they were saying, "Why can't we cross?" They're the talking street? about if we go over the there, street? we're Police interrupting. Were um, the sidewalk. They have now, fuck, I don't even know what they say. Uh, appears to have be, they appear to be on the sidewalk, and they are pushing a gentleman What's out. What's up, y'all? So um, you can also see that uh, police also have someone here with they're them. They're going after media now. GoPro and they seem to be filming this as well. Uh, I hadn't noticed that this evening, but it is happening. And now you can see this is the SUV that those dozen or so police officers showed up on. But now we have easily. Yes, I am. Thank you so much for asking. Five, six, oh, Hell yeah, thank you. Ten police cars down here. Get inside! Get your house out! Let's go! Multiple. Uh, Go inside uh, now! Get in the hole! Tara, 
in the United States. Police really firing at residents who aren't suspicious. abiding by the 9pm curfew on a suburban street in Minneapolis. Down the road from us, but otherwise it seems to be pretty much right here what's left. But you definitely oh, no. see police officers yeah. making their what's up, man? people to dispose You too, stay safe, stay strong. Loading back up here to the left. We're going to head down this way. All right, so everybody who's watching some right now, getting upset. if there's a protest tomorrow, I'll be going sure live again. Just yet. I think I'm going to wrap this live up now. Up. Make sure you guys hit the follow button because I'll be going right back at it tomorrow if we have to or the next day or the next day, so, whatever it is. I'll also be posting. I'll also be posting the clips from tonight and the day before. I'll just be posting little snippets, little clips. I'm going to need your guys' help to push the narrative because we need the truth shown. For real. We need the truth shown so that everybody can see what really happened today. So I'm going to be posting little bits and clips. Check my Facebook in the morning. I'm going to need y'all to share. I need y'all to be active. Because we need to let everybody know what really happened tonight. Because I swear to God, I already know they're going to switch the narrative. Say that we were, we were being destructive. We were breaking property again. No, you guys saw. You guys saw firsthand. And I need y'all to post the clips too. I appreciate everybody. I'm wrapping this live up. Make sure y'all follow me. Thank you, everybody who was watching. This is kind of what we've been seeing, though, these pop-up pockets of things all of a sudden happening like this, and they will either make an arrest or they will get people to disperse or they will put out that tear gas, something like that, to get those groups to break up. And we just keep seeing those every few minutes. And like I said, there's still another something just down the road, and we can walk that way, too, to figure it out. But I also just behind us see a group of police officers standing in front of Pioneer Place, so this is really just what we've been seeing over the last couple of hours. People just walking uh, and grouping up again, and then police come in, they try to disperse it, and then they move on to the next. And it's just rinse and repeat, if you will. So, guys, we'll send it back into you for now. We're going to go check out this other one down the road. All right, K2's Kelly Ozair, thank you. We want to check in with Megan Allison now. Sure. Excuse me, Allison Mechanic. Sorry about that. It's getting late, and uh, we want to see what's going on there, Allison. I'm going to show you this intersection here that we have over here. We see a lot of police over here. They were actually stopping and talking to some people a few minutes ago. Uh, and actually, if you take a look over this way, we can see some police have stopped to talk to a group of people that have gathered here on the corner. We're right across from Pioneer Place, um, and it seems that police are now walking around and telling groups to break up, which is what we've really been seeing most of the day and most of the evening. And just listening to what the officer is saying, and he's telling people to please go home. He said, please just go. No one's stopping you. Please just go home. I can't really tell if it's under if it's being um, accepted by the group. Now people are starting to walk away. The officers are just asking people to please go home. He said that they would appreciate if people would just go home. He said there's nothing stopping them. So now they're walking back towards their cars over here. And this is a little bit different than what we have been seeing. Typically, we've just been seeing uh, police drive around with the, the large uh, em uh, emphasizer telling people that it's time to go home. Or we've seen them come off and run in groups. But that was the first time we've really seen a almost a one-on-one -on -one interaction but here's more uh police coming up this area right now as well i feel at this point we were seeing more police than we are groups of people it definitely has thinned out significantly since earlier today and even within the last hour i would say it significantly has thinned out groups certainly have seemed to um, at least leave the downtown area. We haven't seen many large gatherings. We've seen handfuls of people for the most part, but that's really been the extent of it at the, for the most part. So right now we're still seeing police drive around and now they're going back to their cars. Um, and if you take a look down this way, you can see them going back to their cars right now, but not a ton of urgency. It seems like it's more one-on-one -on -one conversations with people and um, that's really what we've been seeing right now. So we're going to we're going to walk a little bit over this direction just to see a little bit more. And again, we're right across from Pioneer Place. And so we're seeing a lot of businesses have 
um, covered their windows, but we did see that some of that stuff had to be ripped down and we did see more glass broken earlier in the evening. And so now as we just continue walking down, we you're kind of getting a look at what we're seeing out here on the streets. Again, there definitely are still people out, but we're not seeing nearly as many groups as we were seeing, but we are seeing a lot of police still circling the block and still telling people to go home. So that's really what we've been seeing out here now. So definitely uh, a significant change from what we've been seeing earlier in the evening. Back to you guys. And Allison, we just wanted to emphasize that. I know you already said this, but it is certainly a, a change in tone, at least right now. Earlier, we were seeing police vehicles with officers on the side racing around the streets, tossing uh, tear gas can canisters. We were hearing flashbangs. And like you just pointed out, that may be one of the first instances. There was some mischief, there was some graffiti, but for the most part, it was nothing like this. The and masks uh, were off, the off. gas masks were off. So definitely a change in tone and a, a change in positive tone. So it's good to notice that down there and uh, hopefully we can see more of it. And it's so important to, to, to point out just definitely, how devastating. The All right, let's talk to uh, Kelly Ozair once again to see where she is and uh, check in on uh, what she's seeing. Hey, Kelly. Hey, guys. We we've moved down to Washington and forth. I was telling you when we were a little bit up there that I could see a large police presence down here. We came to figure it out. We had heard a number of bangs down here and now it appears here's Portland luggage. Um, this is a business that has been in Portland for decades and you can see glass has been shattered and now police are standing out in front of it protecting it. Um, it appears that this is one of the businesses because they do have a number of boards in some of their windows that they had been hit before but now they have fresh glass that has been been, um, knocked out as well. So, you know, so this is at 4th and Washington and you can see the police presence. They are, you know, basically blocking that. But then if we turn around here um, back behind us, excuse me, you can see um, more police and they've kind of just been moving down the street. Things are definitely slowing down. Um, but obviously there's some sort of issue going on right here where police are talking to these folks. Um, but things are definitely slowing down. We're seeing less and less of these pockets popping up um, because more police are showing up to these pockets. And now um, police are asking people, anyone who's just kind of caught standing around or loitering to move along. And it seems to escalate a little bit when they when they're pushing back on either side. But again, here's a situation where you have three police officers, but they're also being followed by half a dozen of these Portland police cars, which again are carrying at least four per per vehicle. So they're just trying to get people to break up. And that's what we've been seeing a lot of. And we've been hearing quite a few people who walk by us saying basically, you know, they're going home we're tired. We're done. Basically, that's it. This guy across the street is yelling about standing up to standing up against police brutality. Um, and now over the loudspeaker, they're saying time to go home. So basically, they're asking people to disperse, um, telling people to go home and they can't stay here. Um, and then just behind them, another tr uh, another SUV of police in riot gear. And um, that's kind of what we're seeing, but it's definitely dying down. I will say those those groups of people have dispersed quite a bit. Like we're seeing a group of maybe five right here, whereas just a few hours ago it was a bit more. Although now I'm hearing some noises down the road, which would be by that dumpster. Um, but nothing as much as we were. Things have gotten quiet, almost a little eerily quiet, if you will. But um, police are um, definitely trying to keep keep getting people moving out of the right direction. They're also trying to stop people from breaking more windows. We've only seen a few windows broken this evening. However, we've seen obviously a lot of windows boarded up from previous um, protests that we've seen throughout the weekend. Um, but again, you know, I think it, it tells about the night we're now at um, 117 in the morning. This has been going on. 
for hours and now we're getting to a point where people seem to be heading home for the night. A lot of the people I spoke with who were telling me they were here for peaceful protests, they wanted their message heard. As soon as things started taking a turn, I saw a couple of them and they said to me, this isn't what I'm here for. I'm going home. This is not my message. Again, a lot of them wanting their voices heard. And we did hear from a gentleman, Mike, who was able to sit down with the police chief this evening, Jamie Resch, and he was brought in from the front lines of this peaceful protest that started today to sit down and speak with her and a number of others from the Portland Police Bureau to talk about how we can get past this and what he feels as being part of the black community here in Portland that grew up in Portland, what he feels needs to change. And he said he really appreciated them taking that time, but he says it's going to take time for this change to come. But again, I think the general encompassing uh, idea of why people are here was that exact thing. And we saw a lot of people leave tonight when things took a turn. But again, then you have things like this, where things pick back up all of a sudden, folks revving their engines, honking their horns, and kind of trying to get things riled back up. But the sheer number of people is far less than it was just a few hours ago. But again, as these cars move through, police kind of make their way around and they uh, try to break it back up again. But there have been a number of these vehicles. I've seen some of these vehicles dozens of times this evening, just making circles around town. So guys, for now, we'll send it back into you. And Kelly, how long has it been since, would you estimate, since you've seen any kind of uh, tear gas in the air? And it's going to take us at you know, actually, I will say it's been a while. Uh, I was literally just thinking of that because we got hit. I'm losing track of time. We got hit probably an hour ago, probably an hour ago. And that was about the last. I probably saw two more situations of tear gas, heavy tear gas um, after that. But then since then, it's been relatively not a lot of tear gas in the air. I've been able to breathe fresh air and feel like I can get those good deep breaths again, which I, I think a lot of people have been feeling that this evening. We've seen so many people walking with uh, watery eyes and having had sprayed them down with some sort of substance to get that cleared out of their eyes. So we haven't seen a lot of tear gas, but we did for a, a while there see quite a few canisters on every uh, group. There were about four or five canisters that we would see that would be thrown. And now for the last hour or so, things have, have really uh, taken a step back from that. Even uh, the projectiles, uh, rubber bullets, things like that. We haven't seen any of that um, in the last hour or so either. We saw that one arrest not that long ago, but even that didn't seem to take any sort of tear gas or anything like that um, we did hear that it, it may have taken a little bit of uh, wrangling, if you will, to get somebody, but we weren't there for that. So, um, yeah, it's definitely a lot calmer. Air is a lot clearer. There was a moment where I was mentioning to you guys that the air was kind of almost foggy, um, just consistently. And, and now that's really dissipated, and we can really see pretty far and not see much tear gas at all. Okay, Kelly Ozer, uh, thank you so much for keeping us up to date on what's been happening in downtown Portland tonight. Uh, things certainly seem to have calmed down quite a bit from how things started. A quick recap on what we saw today. This was a march of thousands of people going across the Burnside Bridge. This was a little before uh, 8, 8, or excuse me, 8 p.m. tonight. This group originated at a gathering in southeast Portland at Laurelhurst Park, marched east for a little bit, then started to march west. At the same time, a smaller group was at the Justice Center downtown. They were dispersed by police. But then this large crowd came so marching over, be, and that's how we ended up with thousands of people like in the downtown area tonight, right around the Justice the Center. The there United were States a few clashes between protesters and police. We I saw the flash bang, flash bangs. We saw the tear gas canisters. We saw the projectiles being thrown. But as of now, it seems like overall things were relatively peaceful tonight. Again, these are live images right now of what we're seeing currently. Really just very small pockets of protesters around the city and police officers pursuing them in various ways and fashions and encouraging them to go home. But the tense nature of those interactions really has lightened over the past hour or so. 
to where we have uh, seen Mayor officers Mayor going up to, up to protesters, State masks off, and, and simply talking and to them. Months, not to say there uh, may not be altercations some, uh, elsewhere, you out there but we'll State definitely State. see a lighter tone. And we'll see what uh, tomorrow brings, of course. When we come back, is it possible to change how mostly white police departments treat African Americans? I'm going to talk to a former police chief and a current Democratic Congresswoman, and a possible future Joe Biden running mate, Val Demi, next. Stay with us. Disposable masks are now a limited commodity. That's because you usually need a new one every day, which can make them scarce and hard to get. Introducing Copperware Reusable Mask. It's a reusable, machine-washable mask with the properties of copper. Real copper threads are woven into the fabric using... have going on over here and uh, it's pretty relaxing I gotta tell you uh, actually we're closer to salmon than Jefferson uh, we also have some officers that look like they're taking a break down here uh, and just gonna uh, zoom in down there it looks like they're taking a breather uh, I don't hear any action I don't hear any flashbangs I don't hear any sirens uh, I don't hear any uh, you know, megaphones and so to me it sounds great it's uh, it's a nice night. It's cool out here, and finally, it's quiet. So I'm really enjoying it. Oh, that, uh, that is a great scene a to Saturday see there. Note, there's a lot of graffiti out here. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, uh, Jennifer, yeah. that you had Sorry, that picture. Wayne, what were you going to say? You were uh, your your cameraman was uh, was zoomed into the uh, to the uh, the police that were just taking a break down there and getting some much deserved uh, rest and fluids, and uh, that was a good thing to see. You know, I'm sure that uh, just like. Uh, you and I know <laughs> they've been going nonstop uh, a lot longer than we have probably all day long. But uh, it's nice to see uh, things slow down to at least that point. But yeah, I'm sorry. What were you saying, uh, Jennifer? Yes, it's slowing down a little bit. We got the guy, uh, the cops uh, are driving by us right now. This is what we've been seeing all night. This looks like uh, a strategy. I think they go from block to block with their lights on. Uh, looking to see if there's anybody left out protesting uh, and if there's anybody doing anything they shouldn't be. Uh, I'm looking down over here at my feet and I'm not sure if this is a register or what. If somebody drug this out of somewhere, uh, I, I know there's a lot of uh, things that have been ripped out of buildings and there was looting over the weekend. I'm not sure if this is leftover from that or if this is something new, but this looks like something that uh, perhaps belonged in an, I wouldn't know what it would belong in an ATM or something like that. I'm sorry, I shouldn't speculate. Yeah. But it looks like something that was ripped out during the protest, to be honest with you. So uh, that would be my speculation that it, it came from the protest activity. So we're walking further down toward the uh, Justice Center area in the park uh, in front of there. That was the scene of a lot of gas canisters, uh, people running, getting rowdy, uh, getting agitated earlier. Uh, but it's really quiet right now. We're moving off on Salmon down to Southwest 5th on the move uh, near the bus stop here. Uh, you can see uh, officers taking a break, uh, taking a breather, probably enjoying that silence I was talking about, uh, getting a moment to collect their thoughts after another very busy night. Uh, third night into the early morning hours of very intense protests. Uh, and protests that had the potential to turn very destructive. And 
they had to move in like they did yesterday, uh, breaking the protests up into small groups uh, and then continue to break them up further. We did see some damage, but we also noticed that businesses were more prepared. There were security officers at a lot of the businesses and uh, protecting them. And that seemed to be a smart idea because uh, some of the businesses that weren't protected by security officers uh, got broken in again tonight. Uh, maybe we didn't see the looting that we saw, but it's still destructive, especially after a busy three nights. Uh, it's going to be a lot for those business owners to clean up tomorrow. Oh, and a uh, tremendous amount we did see work. that security officer again. I don't, if you just, sorry, Wayne, what oh, was that? Yeah, yeah Jennifer, uh, I was just saying it was going to be a tremendous amount of work for, for everybody. But we want to uh, switch real quickly uh, to uh, Jenny Young uh, and, and get the latest from okay. her location right now. And we'll check back with you in just a minute. But uh, but Jenny, uh, yeah, what do you have uh, new out there to tell us uh, in that area? Still staying very calm? We're at, yeah, we're at 3rd and Taylor, and it's pretty calm. But however, I just, uh, we did hear, just hear a big bang. Um, I don't know if protesters are down that direction, but look at this, Wayne. Look at this car torched, absolutely torched as we turn the light up. It is, I, I don't know when this happened. I do, oh, it happened on Friday. Okay, that's what our producer is saying. This happened on Friday. So, yeah, this was one of the fires we were talking about on Friday. So, you know, and since then, people have come and spray painted it. Uh, capitalism, they spray kill capitalism right there, something that they said, and kill cops just all over it. Um, and there, it looks like there was a baby seat and a car seat in the back there. So, that is just, uh, you know, it's just too bad. But, Definitely a site right here. People have been walking by this and kind of like jaw, like just they drop their jaw and they stop and take a picture. Um, yeah, definitely just you know reminiscent of a Friday night and another picture of of what we saw on Friday and all the destruction um, that was that night and that will have yeah. to be cleaned up. I mean, I'm looking right now at graffiti on basically every sorry on basically every um, building on the windows, hotels, businesses, you know, just everywhere you look at their graffiti. And like we've been talking about since Friday and like, you know, Jennifer just was talking about a minute ago, like such a beautiful city and we have to see this and a lot of money. Can't even imagine the amount of money that is going to go into this and the, the devastation for these business owners. So many people already suffering as we know because of the impact of COVID-19 we followed so many of these business owners and seen their pain and their yeah and Jenny uh, we just lost your signal there but uh, that is exactly true I mean uh, none of us have really seen anything like this uh, in downtown Portland uh, the scene it it just it looks foreign it really doesn't look like anything uh, that we've ever experienced in this city um, and, uh, you know, it's going to be a long road back from this to uh, get things cleaned up. And I know that there's a lot of people that are very hopeful that we can get there quickly. But in the midst of this pandemic, uh, this really, really is a difficult situation, not just on Portland, but on cities all across the country. Um, I think we Good evening, I'm Wayne Haverly. We want to update you on uh, the protests that are ongoing here after several nights of protests. We are having more today. And uh, so far today, we've had peaceful uh, protests. We've had a curfew that uh, went in effect at 8 o'clock uh, tonight, just like last night. Of course, last night after the 8 o'clock uh, curfew, the protesters continued uh, to uh, defy those orders and go out into the streets. And we're, we're interested to see what happens now. It's 8 o'clock right now. There has been a couple of very large uh, protests, very peaceful uh, throughout the day. Uh, one of the largest was uh, over on the east side in Laurelhurst Park. And our Hannah Ray has been covering that event. I understand they are on the move. And uh, let's check in with Hannah and get a situation now. Obviously, uh, protesters are not leaving, Hannah. Thanks, Wayne. We're out here near uh, Southeast 47th and Burnside. This protest started at Laurelhurst Park at about 6 p.m. The crowd then marched over here near um, the Penumbra building where they were joined a short time ago by a second group. 
They've been alternately chanting. At one point, um, they got some Portland police liaison officers to walk with them, which was one of their chants, walk with us. Um, so far, no real disturbances. It is, of course, that 8 p.m. curfew time. We're walking through the crowd now. They're um, surrounding the building on two sides, on 47th and then part on Burnside. It's a very, very large group out here, hundreds of people. At one point, police were directing the crowd to move and continue marching on their route. We've stayed here, though, largely for the last hour or so. Um, no sign of moving yet. The crowd still out here. Uh, of course, we're waiting to see what will happen now that curfew time has arrived. No sign of movement so far out here in southeast Portland, though. Back to you, Wayne. All right. Thank you. Hannah Ray Lambert live there in southeast Portland, uh, where those demonstrators that she's with uh, just a short time ago, they were, there were about 3,000 estimated uh, that I've seen uh, out in Laurelhurst Park, and now they're moving and they're around a former. Uh, southeast Portland precinct, uh, Portland uh, precinct, and I do have a, a tweet here from Portland police that just came out about the situation uh, that you just saw there. Uh, it says that PPB is encouraging peaceful assembly tonight. Our liaison officers are working with the organizers of the demonstration at the former southeast precinct. That's where you just saw Hannah Ray Lambert uh, standing, and they are encouraging them to continue to march. So the effort right now is to get them to continue to, to move. Traffic uh, motors are standing by to help. Facilitate a safety route. So that's what happening happening at that location. At the same time, we do have another protest taking place uh, in downtown Portland. Our Jennifer Dowling is there, and this is uh, outside the Justice Center, I do believe. Uh, how are things? Oh, they got the door dash. That's smart, though. Some furniture. Um, smart, but... Yeah, guys. You can't wear everything. Uh, Fuck. You guys want to make a commercial from this? Mm -hmm. your yeah, man. Including the jewelry store? With your door dash? Uh, I'm going to leave the geniuses to it because it seems like there's a bunch of some smart people out here at this time. Right? Like, people with serious shit. They got a genius. Or... He done, he done banged out. Or banged out. Thanks. Nice. Yeah, that would be. Let me just listen to leave this from the record. Dude. Yeah, banged out. Yeah, left well, his well, joint well. there, jumped out. Like fuck. Went blue. Airbag deployed. Hey, buddy. Where is she? Yeah, it's safe to say everywhere. Yeah, we're going to the convention center, dude. Safe to say. Command post for the National Guard. Yeah. Let's see what you got to understand. This is, this is the, the power. Right, dude, when you're doing the fucking... Not 
trying to get a day three. I think when they're putting opportunity in jewelry stuff. What if you were at, what if you were looting that big jewelry store, Dave? When I'm looking through the glass. Yeah, this is live. It's not as easy as just picking up the gas and throwing it back. And Shit, I don't want to touch the screen of because I've tried to get this up on other screens and this stream is like lost and we're linked to it. So you can't even search it anywhere. And yeah, it's going, so I'm not touching the screen until this is over. This is Sacramento. I don't know about this cop, but... I'm going to up my hip because it hurts right now, like a motherfucker. Yeah, no, I don't want them to play the music. Then it's gonna get a copy. They're gonna like, you know, cut the video screen to a copyright thing, won't they? I'll be 
down the tree. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at that. Another one might die today. That's hard. Look at that. They care about it so much though, right? Oh, eyes is burning! Holy shit, boys! That was live! We're working, miss. We're working. Ah! <laughs> Dude! That was an intense fuck! Oh, my fucking eyes are burning. <laughs> Where's this guy going? Oh, I'm gonna start sneezing. Oh, I don't like how they're pointing guns at me. Fucking on lunch breaks, dude. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I'm gonna go ahead and back up one tree. Just to be safe. But that shit was a little too close for comfort. Okay. The bank. No, the heist scene. Yeah, that's a little too close. That's that tree, dude. I think it's a big tree. That tree's not very big though. They're saying it's an unlawful assembly. These fools are gonna get arrested right here. I need a bigger tree though. I'm moving to the car. Let's get the straight forward. Say a prayer together. Thanks, Wadi. Thanks, Wadi. It was fun to hang out with, bro. All of you guys. Thank you, Wadi. My family's asleep. This is my this is my me time. It's two in the morning. Man, that's gonna be a long night. And according to this guy, it's gonna be a long night. Lighting police vehicles and fire. Several stores were also broken into. And we yeah, you see that, and you see so many of these demonstrations across the country, and uh, all of them, you know, it, it begin in the name of George Floyd. So many of Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down! 
down came up Shut it down. and Washington where police so about it Let's give him part two. Let's give him part two.